bones. Christmas pud. Ah, sprouts. I'm in a dustbin. Ooh, stinking, smelling dustbin. <laughs> All right, now I can see the funny side. The old wait till Teddy's asleep in front of the telly and then stuff him in a bin. <laughs> Always good for a laugh, isn't it? <laughs> but it's not nice out here! Hey! Hey! Come and get me! Excuse me, I'm trying to sleep. Who said that? Me. Hey? There's a talking dustbin. It won't do any good shouting. I'm not shouting at you. I'm shouting at that house, my house. You're wasting your time. Rubbish. What you say is what you are. <laughs> oh, look <at> her. <laughs> Dolls. <laughs> if you don't come and get me, I'll... I'll hold my breath until I burst. See how you feel then. Oh, stop it, you silly bear. You'll hurt yourself. Typical, stubborn, pig-headed, obstinate bear. There's no point. Have you got any better ideas? <laughs> Miss Know-it-all pigtails. If I don't shout and make a fuss, I'll be stuck in this bin forever. That's what they want. What? Your children have thrown you out. They don't want you anymore. No. That's what happened to me. You're only a doll. But I'm a teddy bear. Lovely, cuddly, fun at picnics. Everyone loves a bear. Don't they? Whoa! Oh! Hey! What's going on? Oh! Oh, hold on, Bear. Hey! Oh, I think we're in trouble. Oh, great! Ah! Oh, help! Oh. No! Help! Help! Ah! Help! Oh, I hate sprouts! Yeah. Off. But leave it, you stupid, stupid bear. It's, it's going to be here somewhere. Oh, hurry, hurry. I've, I've found Give it. me your hand. Yeah. No, the other one. Yeah. Uh, oh. 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 I've got it back. You could have been killed. I'm very attached to my arm. Well, your arm isn't very attached to you. Oh, here, I'll mend it. I bet you're called Teddy. How did you know that? <laughs> Just a guess. My children called me Annie. There. <laughs> well, not bad. For a doll. <laughs> Come on, Teddy, we can't stay here. I've been thinking. You reckon our kids meant to throw us out? Of course they did. But why'd they want to do that? Look. They're the reason we've been thrown away. They're all new and exciting. Not old and worn out and boring like us. Who says we're boring? Our children do. No! They do! All right, then. They've got new toys. We'll get new kids. <laughs> See how they like that? Yeah. I suppose so. Well, it's obvious. Great big city like this is full of kids. Children who love us and look after us and tuck us up in a warm bed at night? Yeah, we've, we've just got to find them.
He's a dead dog. I'm getting too old for this. Keep still, you're hurt. You keep doing that, you won't have no dress left. There you are. Thank you. You've saved my life. If there's anything I can do for you... The thing is, we're very cold and wet and don't know what to do. Well, why didn't you come and stay with me? I'm not going to no dog house. Suit yourself. Follow me. The name's Chauncey. C-H-O-N-C-E-Y. I'm Annie, and he's just R-U-D-E rude. Can we not walk so fast? I've only got little legs. Is this your house? No, I gave up residing in houses years ago. I live in a hotel. Where are you going? What? I have my private entrance. Oh, beautiful. Come in. Sorry about the mess. I don't very often have guests. It's lovely here, isn't it? You what? Make ourselves at home. Call this a home? It's warm and dry. I like it here. Well, I don't. Oh, my bum! Here he's gone and died again. Shh, he's asleep. I'm not going to sleep. We do that, next thing we know, we'll be that dog's breakfast. <sighs> you can never trust a dog. Good night, Teddy. Breakfast? Boy, I'm not your breakfast. Chance is offering to get us something to eat. Toys don't eat. Everyone knows that. Pretend. He'd like whatever you're having. But no sprouts. I'll see what's on today's menu. I won't be a moment. Right, what do we do now? Think of a way to find new children. Right. Um, uh... Got it! What? We make ourselves look like the toys our kids got for Christmas. But we're not like them. It's easy, watch! Teddy. Don't you know an alien from outer space when you see one? No. Oh. I, I know. I, hey, oh, wait a minute. We go on telly. Kids love that. Clap if you like it. Everyone in the whole family loves... Yummy, nourishing, delicious. Tell your mummy to buy you yummy. You can clap now. I didn't like it. I'll do it again. Teddy, eh? stop it. We are what we are. We can't be anything else. I want to go home. We don't have a home. Not anymore. All we've got is each other.
Sometimes life is so unfair, but when it seems to you that no one cares, I'll be here to make you smile again. <laughs> Anytime. Not you again. Do you have to keep doing that? How would you like your sausages this morning? Well, you choose. You're the one that eats them. He's driving me mad, Pete House. Him, this place, the sausages. You're just <coughs> going to have to get used to it. Yeah, but I can't get used to getting used to it. Now fetch the sausages, you schnurrels. <laughs> and today, no one snitches them. For you, the breakfast is over, Schnossage Dog! <laughs> Why is it doing that? Maybe it's telling us it's time to go. Ooh, it's getting worse. If we're not safe in here. <laughs> oh no! Oh, help! <laughs> ah! oh, no! It's gonna flood! It can't swim! Neither can I! Oh, Icicles! Icicles on the icicles! Ooh. 
I'm surprised all that stuffing doesn't keep you warm. It doesn't. Not in this weather. Oh, come on, we can't stay here. What about Chauncey? We could wait all day for him. We'll freeze. I wish I could tell him we're all right. We won't be if we hang around here much longer. Come on, pigtails. Stop the that one. Stop the Look, Teddy. That's handy, pigtails. Ah, I can feel my hands again. They're all tickly. It's not just my hands I can feel. Oh, oh well, well. <laughs> what do we have here? Toys. I'm sorry. We didn't know it was your fire. Oh, I, I don't mind sharing. Oh, come in here. We'll get you dried out. You too, Bear. Nothing worse than soggy sawdust is there. Oh, your children don't take much care of you, do they? We haven't got children. Not at the moment. But we're looking. Hmm. And would you like me to smarten you up? Yes, please. Annie, Teddy. Where are you? We need shiny bits and flashing lights on us. Then kids will want us. And batteries. <laughs> you don't need batteries. I want batteries. Why? Well, all the presents that our kids got at Christmas, they had batteries. I want to be like them. But think of the biggest, brightest, newest toy in the world. Like the ones on telly. Yes. <laughs> is that what makes children happy? Of course it is. It's the business. <laughs> no, it's not. It's only a good present if you love the person you give it to, and that person loves you. Love is what makes children happy. She's right. And I know a thing or two about toys, yes, and about children. It might have been like that in the old days. But now kids want batteries. Ah, what do you think? We look wonderful. We can make children happy. If we ever find them. Do you know where we could look? I do. Oh, but it's not easy to get there. <laughs> I'll draw you a map. They were my friends. They saved my life and I let them drown. Hey, that's from Annie's dress. They must be alive. <laughs> A lot of children we're gonna find here, pigtails. Look, this is the right way. Well, it doesn't feel like the right way. <laughs> it shouldn't be far now. There it is. The school. Never happened before I met you. It's all my fault, is it? Well, I can read a map. I know where we're going. Don't move. Huh? Dogs. I hate dogs. Well, we nearly made it. Yeah. No hard feelings. I picked out. No hard feelings. Teddy! Wait! You leave her alone! What are you doing? Listen, you big slobbering bully. I'm not having it. I'm a very important person. 
teddy bears are directly, directly descended from the President of the United States, Theodore Teddy Roosevelt. You listening? And that's why I'm called Teddy. You mess with me, you're messing with the Constitution of the US of A. Got that? I don't think he's interested in American history, Teddy. Looks like we're history now, pigtails. It's Chauncey! Another dog. Just what we needed. Chauncey, you saved us! You showed him. Maybe I'm not too old for this. Of course you're not. Thank you, Chauncey. Yeah, we'd better go before they come back. Uh, any chance of a lift? Just to the school. It's not far. Of course. Climb on. I'll take you there. Do you think any of these children will want us? Beautiful doll like you, of course they will. What about me? You think I'll find a house where they never have sprouts and the telly's on all the time? I'm sure you will. Why didn't you stay, Chauncey? Find some children to love and look after you? Children? Far too old for them. Goodbye, Annie. Chauncey? Yes? You're not bad for a dog. Goodbye, Teddy. new kids are coming. Good luck, Teddy. Good luck, Annie. You call me by my real name. You call me Annie.
speak for yourself, pigtail. Are you all right? No, it's, it's that toothbrush again. <clears throat> I hate holidays. Oi, right, careful! There's toys in here. Holidays? What's the point? They stuff us in a bag like a pair of socks, drag us off somewhere hot, bury us in the sand, drop us in the sea. And there's no telly. And there's no telly. You'll enjoy it when we get there. But when's that going to happen? Now the plane's landed, it won't be long. Stop it! All this going round and round, I, I, I feel sick. Toys can't be sick. But they can feel sick and giddy. What's going on? I don't know. I'm going to find out. You can't! Watch me. There's no one here. Ow! Our kids, they've gone. They've forgotten us. We're all alone. We don't even know where we are. It'll be all right. No, it won't. Come and see. No kids. You'll enjoy it when we get there. Huh. They must have put us on the wrong flight. What do we do? I don't know. I want to go home. Yes. That's what we'll do. We'll go home. How? We'll find a way. We don't even know where home is. I do. That's our home. Now all we have to do is find it. As long as we've got this, we'll be fine. Teddy! It's not my fault! We've got to get it back! Come on! I can't go any faster! Teddy! Oh, there. there it is! There's someone coming! Get it out of there. He's coming back. Oh no. Ow! Are you all right? No. They treat you like rubbish round here. Can you see the label? No. Oh no. What? Chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> I hate chewing gum. Yeah, I found the label. Don't drop it again. I can't drop it. I'm stuck to it. And I'm stuck in here. Can't you climb out? What do you think I am? Can't you climb out? Hold on. I can climb out. It's Spider Teddy. Big tails, you're on the telly. Teddy, what are you doing? Watching telly. You're supposed to be looking for our label. You mean this one? 
get it now. We've got this far. We can't get onto the plane. Oh, it's no use, Teddy. We've lost it. And we'll be lost forever. No. We will. Oh, I know. Any chance of a lift, mate? Si, sí, senor. In your head? Si, sí, senor. Any room for me? In here. Muchas gracias. It's okay, amigos. Enjoy your flight. Final call. Trans Europe Express. Prepare the takeoff. <laughs> what happened, Senor? Don't ask me. It's out. Oh, Teddy, Teddy. <laughs> What do you think? Let's see. It's in here, and I'm keeping it safe this time. So we can go home now? Look out! <laughs> I hate flying, I hate holidays, I hate aeroplanes, I hate rubbish. Stop! What? You've found it. The label. Oh, yeah. Good thing one of us hung on to it. That's our home, is it? Yes. We just have to get there now. I'm not flying. We can walk. Yeah. All right. Which way do we go? Uh, this way. You don't know. It could be that way. You always have to know best, don't you? It's just a suggestion. Are you coming? Not that way. Wait for me! Oh, you've decided to come with me, have you? I'm not saying you're right, though. How about not saying anything at all for a change? You saying I'll talk too much? No, I leave the complaints to you.
Look, a church. We could spend the night there. No. Why not? Ghosts. Ghosts? I hate ghosts. There's no such thing as ghosts. Are you coming? No. There's something following us. No, there isn't. Anyway, I'm not going in there. All right, stay outside and freeze. Wait for me! I saw it again. What? The thing. Ow! Shame you didn't see that bucket. It's dangerous in here. Not if you look where you're going. Not if you look. Ow! Ow! I'm stuck. Ow! I'm careful! You're the one who needs to be careful. Now sit down and I'll look for somewhere where we can sleep. How are we going to sleep in here? Those candlesticks beautiful. I thought you were looking for somewhere for us to sleep. I was, and I found it. Come on. Here you are. A toy bed? Something like that. Happy now? What about blankets? We just have to do without. Good night, Teddy. Annie. What? Ghosts. There aren't any ghosts. Go to sleep. You'll see. We're stuck. Watch out. Oh, Help, no, get me out of here. I brought you a sheet. I thought you might be cold. Oh, thank you. Teddy thought you were a ghost. A sort of holy ghost, I suppose, seeing as I live in a church. <laughs> Very droll. <laughs> it's a beautiful church. Yes, but I'm getting too old to look after it on my own. You don't mind if we sleep here? No, no. That's an awfully good idea, sleep. everywhere. Oi, Keith, there's a lovely little dolly here. Shh. Sorry. Come here. The ghost got pigs out. I need help. We're not looking for dollies, are we? No, King. No dollies. We're looking for these. We'll get them in the sack. Ew! Sorry, Kate. You suck. Oh, oh. Mm. 
Oi! Ow! Wake up! Please! Hmm? Oh, I said in the sack, Kat. You keep taking him out of the sack, Keith. No, I don't. You do. Don't. Do. Don't. Yes, you don't. do. I said don't. You don't. 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 Don't.
sprouts. all off to? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, look! It's a fair! Great! Let's go! I don't know if it's safe for us. I don't care. Dodgems, carousels, big dippers, dive bombers. I love fairs. Hop on, pigtails. We'll get there quicker on this. Wait for me. Oh, this isn't very comfortable. Stop moaning. Whoa! Ah, no! Sausages all over me. Who's moaning now? Ow! <laughs> Onions? Oh, you're going to smell terrible. What about you? Never in the whole history of fairground has there been a more hair raising, stomach churning, cheek popping, seat clenching ride. This is the ultimate. This is the terror mountain. You won't catch me going on there. But you love fairs. You're not scared, are you? No. I know. Looks like he doesn't want to go on that ride. I, I now declare Terra Mountain open! Riding <laughs> is you down! Go back, you silly dog. Wrong way! And he's scared. And he's after us! He's after you, he can smell sausages. <laughs> Wait! Ow! Ow! Get, get off! No! Stop it! You're tickling! You mustn't do that. You big slobbering bully. Don't be horrible, he's only a baby. Do you know where your people are? Do you want us to help you find them? How are we going to do that? I don't know. Maybe we could use that big nose of it. To track them down. Could you do that? Big <laughs> Don't you stay where you're put. Oi, pigtails! Help! Leave that out! Huh? <laughs> Stop it!
Please. Yeah, son. Want one for your teddy? Nah, he can share mine. <laughs> dog you could have been killed you don't understand do you don't worry we'll find your people oh, kids yeah geronimo Unless you're both safe. Quickly, I found his people. Come on. <laughs> Off you go, mate. <laughs> you know, I think you're growing quite fond of dogs. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, dogs are nothing but trouble. I thought you were looking after him. I was. Looks like you're the one that needs looking after. How did you get into that state? But what about you? You think I'm bad? You should look at yourself. I hate fears. Do 
you've changed your tune. It was all your idea in the first place. I've never been to one before. Why does everyone go on about how great they are? People come here to have fun. Fun? That's their idea of fun? They're mad. No, they aren't. Being scared stupid? That's fun, is it? What's that in your ear? Candy floss. going to the zoo we'll never find our way home if we keep visiting places I want to see the bears their family they're real bears I'm a real bear you're a teddy no I'm a bear called teddy like you're a doll called pigtails Annie yeah you coming oh they don't look very happy ah. Aren't hyenas supposed to laugh? Oh. The bears are over there. I'll ask them what's going on. Oi! How about a big hello to your cousin Teddy? Huh? I'm a bear, just like you. I am. Let's go. No, we can't. Something terrible is happening here. Maybe he knows what's going on. Excuse me, can you tell us why all the animals are so sad? That would be because of the, um, the, um, um, I can't remember. But elephants never forget. Don't they? Everyone knows that. Well, I probably do too, yes. I must have tied this knot in my trunk to remind me of something. But I, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, you should ask the, uh, the, um, the, the thingy. It's just over there. Thank you. What for? Oh, never mind. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> She's leaving us. Who is? I'll show you. That's our keeper. She's the kindest, nicest zookeeper there's ever been. And she's going. <laughs> she spent all her money on looking after us. Now there's none left and she's had to sell the zoo. I'm sure the new keeper will be just as nice. No, he won't. <laughs> what did I just tell you? I said no second helpings. You're on a diet. Just one squeeze. You've been using far too much toothpaste. You'll have to make do with the same size scarf as everyone else. You can see why no one likes him. I like him. You would. What on earth have we got here? Oh, no! Ooh. Whatever you are, no one's going to pay to see you. Nope, you'll be the first to go. Off you go, quickly. We've got to help him. We need you to wake up all the animals. You know, ba 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 ba. Oh yes. <sighs> Stop. You need to untie the knot. 
what not? That not? Oh, yes. <laughs> Come on, we need to open the cages. Go on. Why me? You like making speeches. Brother oh, right. animal. What about the sister animals? Who's making this speech? You or me? Brother and sister animals. You're not an animal. I am. You're stuffed. I'm a stuffed bear. And a bear's an animal, isn't it? You don't look like other bears. Shh. Listen to him. He's trying to help us. Yeah, right. We've got a plan to cheer you all up. The new zookeeper, he wants to make lots of money. And he gets that money from visitors to the zoo. But if there aren't any visitors, there won't be any money. And he won't want to be a zookeeper anymore. So, all you have to do is stop the visitors coming. Do you all agree? <laughs> They're coming. Monkeys first. My zoo has the funniest monkeys in the world. Is that all they do? No, they can swing from the trees, eat bananas with their feet. What? Come and see the zebras. Don't turn around. Those aren't zebras. Yes, they are. Where are the stripes? Oh, uh, well, uh, well, this way for the lions. Now, these are some of the most ferocious. Oh, no. Very ferocious. Oh, I'm terrified. <laughs> that does it. I want my money back. Oh, yes. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, uh, come again, won't you? <laughs> Just a temporary setback, you know. Happens in the best places. <laughs> it worked. What a brilliant idea. I hope so. What's he doing? I don't like the look of that. There's a new zoo rule. No visitors, no food. He can't do that. It's not fair. What are we going to do now? I don't know. <laughs> Stop it! They're not hungry. They're toys. They don't get hungry. Not like proper animals. Ooh, you should never have listened to them. We all agreed with them last night. Did we? I didn't. Listen, you shouldn't put up with being treated like this. What else can we do? Find someone who'll look after you. We could go back to our old keeper. Yeah, why not? We'll take them, won't we, Pigtails? It's not safe outside the zoo. We're used to it. Come on. to stay with you. You can talk. Yes, but don't tell anyone. Dolls can't talk. They can sometimes, for someone special. Yeah. Oh, how lovely. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't afford to feed them. Why not? They'll have to go back. They don't want to go back. But this isn't a zoo. It could be. If you wanted it to be, why not? The animals will help, won't you? But the house is too small to be a zoo. That's why people will come. To see the smallest zoo in the world.
唱牙膏的哈。Oh, thank you. We never had so many visitors at the old zoo. This can be their home forever. Will you stay too? We'd like to, but we can't. We've got to find our home. You can't go. You belong with us. No, we belong with our children. But thanks for asking. Thank you for our new zoo. Forget it. Think I already have. Come on, Teddy. <laughs> you know the one thing that's wrong with the new zoo? What? The bears don't look right. They don't look at all like me. No, you don't look like a real bear. They came first. No, I was here first. We've only just met them. No, real bears came before Teddy. Teddy bears are real bears. I keep telling you. I wish you had an ear for music. Well, I'm trying to be cheerful. We've been walking for miles. I'm completely worn out. You're too fat, Teddy. You're unfit. What do you mean? This is solid muscle. <sighs> now there's someone with big muscles. Yeah? He hasn't got my dashing good looks. Are we crossing or what? When it's safe. <sighs> Teddy, are you coming? When I'm ready. Pig towels! Hang on, pig tail. I am. Hurry. Come in. I... I can't hold on. Ah! Pig tail. Ah! Are you all right? Wonderful. Can't think of anywhere I'd rather be. Even if there's rats down there? Bigger rats than you? Do something. All right, keep your ear on. I'll get you out. That's the least you can do. Get off. I know. Stay where you are, pigtails. I don't have much choice. Left over right. Or is it right over left? Oh, this will do. What's he doing? Teddy! I'm here. Grab hold of this, pigtails. Got it? I told you I'd get you out. All right, pigtails. No, I'm not all right. That was completely useless. It's not my fault you're too heavy. I'll try something else. That's more life. Emergency. I need a lifeboat. Teddy, where are you? Help! I'm back with a boat. I'm coming down. <sighs>
Captain Courage, at your service, ma'am. Oh, it's you. We saw you in the window. Thank you for saving my life. Captain Courage, dedicated to service wherever the twin evils of conflict and danger lurk. You're so brave. Well, no, ma'am. This was easy compared to some of the stuff I do. But this is no place for a lady. A boat! It's a P-series trans-aquatic personnel transportation system essential for covert combat procedures. It may be a bit of a squeeze. I don't mind. Big Tails, I'm coming. Big Tails, where are you? Are you cold, man? Yes, um, I don't mind if you put your arm around me. No need for that. Here. 98% thermoretentive standard issue for polar assault soils. Thank you. This is where we get off. He's not correctly equipped for subterranean maritime excursions. He's not correctly equipped for anything much. Help! Can you help him? I can deploy a handheld single launch suction inducing missile as used. Help! No need to describe it. Just show me what he can do. My pleasure. Out of shape there, fella. Not surprising with this stuck on me. What were you doing, Teddy? Rescuing you. You could have waited. I'd have drowned. When I really needed help, you weren't there. But Captain Courage was. I bet you've never seen the sunset over the storm drain outlet. No. It's quite a sight. I'd be honored to show you. I'd be honored to be shown. You going with him? Any objection? No. You do what you like. I will. See you later. I won't care for me. Dowels. I'm not going after her. <laughs> Rex, help! Quite a sight, ain't it, man? Please. Call me Annie. It'd be lovely to be called by my proper name for a change. Okay. Annie? What should I call you? Captain Courage. I can't say that all the time. What do your friends call you? I'm on active service footing pretty much full time. Doesn't leave much scope for friends. This looks like Barmy Army Man's Club. What's he got in here? Elephant disguise, rubber trousers, <laughs> tennis racket, sort of tube thing. Where's pigtails? Look at them. Oi, pigtails! There's rats in the drains. Dirty great big ones! Ignore it. It's just a badly behaved, rude and very jealous teddy bear. <laughs> Help! Does he really think I'm stupid enough to fall for that? You stay where you are. I've got a sort of a tube thing, and I'm not afraid to use it. I mean it. Help! Ah! That is a classified personal vertical propulsion system exclusively for use by elite forces only. And they're welcome to it. I was just getting rid of the rat. What rat? The rat that was here. But I got rid of it with Chummy's overpowered air dryer. I don't believe you. You just couldn't stand seeing me having a good time, so you had to smash up all Captain Courage's kit. I did not. Stop aside, Annie. I fight my own battles. We'll settle this man to man. Who are you calling a man? 
I'm not a man, I'm a bear. Well, I'm gonna have to teach you what happens when you mess with government issue equipment, bear. Oh, there is a rat. I need my my .45 pump action system for the termination with extreme prejudice of offensive forces. <laughs> Where is it? Help! I, I can. Captain Courage, please help. Well, it, 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 it's, it's not possible without the correct equipment. Some hero you are. I suppose a fat, unfit bear is left to defend you now. Teddy, how can we stop him? Hang on, pigtails. My secret weapon will come into play. What's that? My high-octave double crash it favouring decibels. What's that? My singing. Oh, salami! Teddy, Teddy! That's enough! He's gone! Uh, it always works. The old soul. Thanks, Teddy. Leave it out or I'll sing another verse. It's not possible. Can we tell him not to bother? No, he can find out for himself. Let's go. I must be here somewhere. Thanks for saving me, Teddy. Oh, someone ain't too. I don't know what I'd do without you. You'd find someone. Someone else, handsome, strong, polite. Like me? No, like Captain Courage. Since when were you polite? I am. You are not. I am polite. Which way you're going, pigtails? I've never met anyone with worse manners than you. Yeah, yeah. You're plain rude. You want me to get that rat back? Oh, so Sprouts. It's a theatre. No, Teddy. I've never seen inside a real theatre. We're supposed to be finding our way home, remember? Oh, just a quick look. Teddy! Teddy or not Teddy? That is the question. It's to be or not to be. Not when I do it, it isn't. Come on, someone will see you. That's what I need, an audience. This is where I belong, on the stage. We can't stay here. Anyway, this is a puppet theatre. You're not a puppet. I could learn. Teddy? What's round here? Teddy, come back. Is this a dagger I see before me? No, it's me. We can't stay here. <gasps> oh, no! Someone's coming. Oh, it's a miracle. An answer to my prayers. I am going to make you a star. Ooh! Those eyes, that smile, oh, you're perfect. What about me? I want to be a star too. Oh! oh! I'm sorry. Don't worry, darling. The slightest setback and it goes to pieces. Pull yourself together, Bones. Are you puppets? We're not just puppets, we're artists, we're stars! That's what I want to be. I am Madame Croc. You've just sat on Mr. Bones, the dancing skeleton. And he's beanbag. What's he do? He's an acrobat, darling. 
The costume fits, but your hair... Oh, no, it's all wrong. No time now. The audience is here. And now the strings. <laughs> oh, Dolby B. Steenbeck is a cinematic genius. I should be working with Hollywood actors, not puppets. Puppets. <laughs> I hate puppets. I don't know why he's taking pigtails. I'm the one with the talent. You don't want to work with that man, darling. He's not like Mr. Marionetti. Who's he? The owner of the theater, darling. But he's gone away on holiday and left that horrible man in charge. Oh, he's a monster. He hates puppets. And if anything goes wrong, he does terrible things. What sort of things? With scissors. Snip, snip. A bit off here, a bit off there. Don't talk about it, darling. It only upsets the bone. Did he try to snip, snip you? He started to. He cut our strings. And then we escaped and hid in here. We're trying to keep out of his way until Mr. Marionetti comes back. arriving and no star, no actors at all. Oh, I hate puppets. A full house. What am I going to do? Oh, I'll have to use the other one. It's him. Pull yourself together, Bones. Come along. You've got work to do. It's not safe. I'm gonna be a star. Whoa! <laughs> they were throwing sprouts at me. Sprouts! Oh, I hate sprouts. I told you it wasn't safe. <laughs> and where did you go? You puppets are nothing but trouble. It's the dance number next, and I'm warning you. Put one foot wrong, and it's snip, snip, snip. Do do. Stop laughing. You should see what you look like. You should see what you look like. We've got to cut these strings. What with? I don't know. Could have had my eye out. Look, this will cut the strings. There will now be a short intermission. <laughs> oh, where are they? Who's got them? He's after us. We've got to hide. The hamper. Wow! Oh! Darlings, what have you been doing? It wasn't our idea. You can't stay here, he'll find you. Then we'll all be trapped. What if we trapped him? How can we do that? We're just puppets. You're not just puppets. You're artists. You're stars. You belong on the stage. But unless you get rid of him, you'll never get back there. What do you want us to do? You'll all have to help. Puppets, where are you? Come to your Uncle Dolby. You sure she knows what she's doing, darling? Yeah, she's quite smart. Right now. Got you! 
I hate puppets! <laughs> oh, Mr. Marionette! If you hate the puppets so much, it's probably a good thing that I come back from my holiday. Oh, the puppets, they are monsters! Eh, not if you treat them properly. But I haven't got time to argue. We have got the second half of the show to do! Oh. Oh, this would never happen at Warner Brothers. We never even got to see the show. Another time. Darlings! Mr. Marionetti wanted our friends to have these. <laughs> this is the business. Better than being a star. We are stars, both of us. Mr. Marionetti said so. You've got to admit, Burns is a better dancer than you. There's nothing wrong with the way I dance. And you look lovely in a tutu. I don't ever want to hear that word again. What? Tutu? Very funny. Teddy, tutu. I'm not listening. To... to... Stop it! I was just going to say that tomorrow we'll have to start looking for our home properly. No, you won't. You were going to say tutu again. No, I wasn't. Tutu. Sprouts! I hate sprouts. What's wrong, Pigtail? I was wondering what our children are doing now. Yeah. Sometimes I think we'll never find our home again. We will. You can't be certain about that. I am. We'll get there. Just like my great grand Teddy did. Did I ever tell you about him? Oh, Teddy, I've heard all your stories. Little Big Teddy, they called him. He was a hero in the old Wild West. Are you listening, Pigtails? I don't have much choice. It all started when Little Big Teddy went west for the great Klondike gold rush. All aboard! Oh. Ah, careful! It's not my 
my fault. It's mine, is it? You should have got out of the way. Can I be of some assistance, ma'am? Thank you. You're welcome, Miss... Uh... Annie. Miss Annie. Howdy. I'm the enchilada kid. And I'm Little Big Teddy. I'll tell you how I've got that name. Ow! Ow! My map! What kind of map is that, Miss? It's my old Uncle Walter's map with a cross on it to mark where his little old gold mine is. I'm on my way to Klondike to dig up all that gold, so I mustn't lose the map. I'll get it back for you. Ooh. Your map, Miss Annie. Thank you, Mr. Kidd. You've won again, Mr. Kidd. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Beginner's luck, I guess. I do declare. You've got my map, Mr. Kidd. Where? Right there. Oh, I only took it to write the scores on. <laughs> you better have it back right now. Much obliged. Now you've finished that, do you want to hear the story why I'm called Little Big Teddy? No. no. I think I need a little rest after all that excitement. Hey, Bear, Miss Anne is trying to sleep. Is she? You sure you don't want to hear her? Don't want to hear her. about to make myself a very rich man. That's what's going on, and you're going off! Ow! <laughs> yeah. He's got my map! He's got my banjo! Oh. We've come the wrong way. Don't blame me. It was your idea. You said we'd just keep heading this way. Well, it was more of a guess. Why did I have to be stranded in the desert with you? Because your friend, the kid, stole the map and dumped us. Don't move. It's a rattlesnake! Back away. Very slowly. We can't back away. I forgot then. Hold on. I'll lower you down. Down there? Got any better ideas? No. But what about you? A bear's got to do what a bear's got to do. That's part of the story of how I became. Yes, all right, all right. Lower me down. Well as playing the banjo, it's using a rope. I saw. Thank you. Nothing to worry about now. Indians! <laughs> Nothing to worry about now. Hey, better than walking. No, it isn't. I'll rescue you. I've got a plane. Or I will have a plane. Pigtails? Uh, 
What do we do now? Wait until it's dark. Sprouts to eat. At least we're heading west. Oh, do you think I'll ever get my map back? Of course you will. How? Next town we come to, we'll hop off and find a way to catch up with our stagecoach. As easy as that? Yeah, no problem. No, oh, no. Oh. <coughs> I hate sprouts. <coughs> Look, it's our stagecoach. It's broken down. And there's my banjo. Hope that hasn't broken down. The enchilada kid must be here somewhere. We've got to find him and ask him to give me back my map. Where do you think he is? Look! Yeah, stick him up! Yeah. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Come back! Oi! I want a word with you. Are you talking to me, amigo? Yeah. Miss Pigtails wants her map back. Oh, what, what, what map? The map you stole. Are you calling me a thief? Are you ready, bear? I gotta warn you. I'm the fastest draw this side of Tombstone. Hey, wait a minute. You've got a gun. A six shooter. Ready? Hold on! Steady. I haven't even got a one-shooter. Go! I suppose you think I'm gonna give your map back right now? Yeah. You're wrong. Who says? I says, I always carry a spare. <laughs> Quick, get the map. It's in his pocket. You bust my banjo. I'll get you another one, I promise. Just get the map. Here. Thank you, Mr. Teddy. You're welcome, Miss Pigtails. They got to Klondike in the end and went to the spot marked with an X. We're here. It's all closed down. Hold on. There's a letter. It's for me. What's it say? Dear Annie, no gold, and it's freezing cold. Gone to Peru to look for rubies. Love and kisses, old Uncle Walter. P.S. Come and join me. Here's a map. But that's another story. And if Great Teddy could get to Klondike, then we can get back home. So you know the reason they called him Little Big Teddy? Because he was little this way and big this way. Little Big Teddy. Uh, who? What? Were you asleep? Some of the time. How much of the time? I don't know. I'll have to start all over again. You don't have to. But you missed half the story. Maybe not quite half. I'll have to do it all again because I don't know which not quite half it was. Can't you do a shorter version? Th that was a shorter version. Sprouts.
good to be dry in there. Come on. Ow! Oh, that hurts. Quick, there's someone coming. It's like being in prison. Shh. Do the business, Cap. The business, Keith. Come on! Are you all right? No. I'll find something to get you down. After we've pinched the jewels, we split up and meet at the sprout and sausage. You got it? Sprout up, split and sausage. No! The split up, sprout and sausage. You sure you need all that dynamite, Keith? I know what I'm doing. I was blown up. Can you reach this? No. There's no choice then. Sorry. Come on! Shout and stop it, was it, Keith? Sprout and sausage! Whoa! Ow. Oh no, Teddy! Pigtails! Help! <coughs> I've got to find Teddy! <laughs> Police dog 999 Skip. Are you a party to this burglary, miss? No, but I saw it. They stole my friend, Teddy. In which case, you'll have to accompany me to the station. But I must find Teddy. Plenty of time for that, miss. Come along, please. Uh, Spitting polish. No, no. I'm, uh... The trout and sandwich. It's the sprout and sausage. Who said that? Ooh. I can't stand any more of this. You saw it all. You know the whereabouts of Lady Muster's priceless diamond cluster. Ah, if only you could talk. But you can't. You're just a doll. But we must look after you. You're the only evidence we've got. For sister, I was in a shop that was robbed. Oh, yeah, exhibit A. I'm not an exhibit, I'm Annie. To the cops, you're an exhibit. I'm Ruby. I was a gangster's doll, but now I'm in charge around here. Anything you want to know, ask me. How long before they let us out? Let us out? Are you kidding? We're here for keeps. No, I've been kicking my heels here for months now. You're the first real company I've had. Up till now, it's been me and Porky. He got robbed. What a shame. The cops think it was an inside job. Make yourself at home, honey. I can't. I've got to get out of here and help my friend Teddy. You mean escape? Huh. <laughs> that ain't easy. Will you help me? I don't know. It ain't safe outside for a doll on her own. I can look after myself. Oh, please help. Okay. We wait for the next time the door opens. I hear him. 
Are you sure you won't come? Nah. I kind of got used to living here. Good luck, kid. Ah, yeah. The sprout and sausage. Where have you been? I forgot what pub you said, Keith. Oh, give us the bag. What's this? It's a teddy bear, Keith. I know that. What's it doing in the bag? You put it there, Keith. No, you put it there. Didn't? You did. Didn't. You did, 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 did. Oh, never mind that. Where's Lady Master's diamond cluster? Ooh. You've taken it for yourself, haven't you? No, Keith. You're a thief. Never, I'm no thief, Keith. Where've you put it? Stop it, you're jiggling, Keith. It's in that bear, isn't it? You've hidden the ring in that teddy bear, stuffed it inside. I'd like to see him try. Where is it? Who are you calling it? <sighs> oh. <gasps> oh, no! Where do you think you're going? The burglars have got Teddy. I've got to rescue him. You're an exhibit. You can't go running off. I know where the burglars will be. If you help me, I'll take you to them. I can't. Why not? They sacked me because I never arrested anyone. Help me catch the robbers, then they'll have to give you your job back. Oh, I don't know about that, miss. They're at somewhere called the Sprout and Sausage. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Is that bad? Very. It's a pub near the docks where all the villains go. Then we'll need help. Oh, you'll have to make a statement first, miss. Dolls don't make statements, and you can't take them if you're not in the police anymore. Come on. If we don't go quickly, the burglars will be gone. Hey, what are you doing? He's got the doll. After him. Come on, Skip. It's our only chance. Run! <laughs> Hey! Come back here! Come back! This is insubordination! There he is. Pick him up. All right, Keith. Right. Uh, where's the cluster, Kath? I don't know, Keith. I'll have to open him up. No, you can't do that. She's hidden Lady Master's diamond cluster inside you somewhere, and there's only one way to get it out. <laughs> That's them! Catch them, Skip! Nice, nice doggy! Please be a nice doggy. I'm here to help you, Teddy. Who says I need helping? Come here. I'm terribly sorry. That dog's barking mad. I don't know what's got into him. <laughs> we were just leaving, weren't we, Kath? That's right, Keith. Uh, don't forget the uh, bag. We'll just take it and go. <laughs> You're the burglars. She is, not me. No, it's him. No, it's not. No, no, no what it's, are you him, it's him. It's him. Tell the truth. Oh, get off, get off. Oh. Well, I'm arresting you both, and we can sort this out at the station. Now, where is Lady Muster's diamond cluster? Skip, where are you going? Oh, he's not going to give me my job back. He's got to. You caught the burglars and recovered the jewels. But we didn't find the diamond cluster. I did. I took it to stop them getting it. Keep still, will ya? Yeah. That's enough from you. You, uh, you, you found it. Oh, <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> Lady Muster's glittering diamond cluster. Oh, have your job back, eh? And a promotion. Uh, sergeant, if you want. <laughs> Thank you, miss. Thank you for helping me and Teddy. I didn't need helping. Goodbye, Sergeant Skip. So you had the diamonds all the time? Yes. They thought it was inside me. I could have been cut up because of what you did. I didn't know. He had the spoon this much away from me. The spoon? A very sharp spoon. I suppose you weren't worried about what might have happened to me at all while you were being spooned. It's not funny. It is. Pfft, 
sprouts. I hate sprouts. Open saves me. Oh. Close saves me. Anything else? Teddy! It's sesame, not says me. Open sesame. No, it isn't. Watch. Open saves me. Stop it. Can't catch me, says me. Teddy, quick. Someone's coming. Come on. Ow! I can't. It's mine! I'm sorry. I'll sew it back for you. No, you won't. This is an emergency. Get an ambulance. How can I get an ambulance? I want an ambulance. I should be in hospital. There's an ambulance. Come on. You sure you need it? You look so much better all of a sudden. about some Nino, Nino, Nino. She's so sad. What about me? She's got both her arms. You never think of anyone but yourself. Well, I'm injured. And she's ill. I wish I could help her. Emergency. Pigtails, come back. I can't. Oh, catch. Ooh. How can I catch with only one arm? Wow. Look out! She's just gone to talk to the doctor. I'll look after you. You can talk. Yes, but don't tell anyone. Dolls can't talk. They can sometimes, for someone special. Why are you in hospital? I've got a friend, Teddy. He's a bear. His arm came off. We've come to have it sewn on again. Poor Teddy. Where is he? I've lost him. The doctor's going to take my tonsils out. Don't worry. You'll feel better soon. I know I'll be all right if you stay with me. I will. That'll do. For now. Once I've sterilized you, you'll make a wonderful present for one of the children. There's a poor, sick little girl who'd love you. You're not sterilizing me. Doctor. Time for us to take out those tonsils, Flora. Can Annie come too? Uh, no, no, she doesn't need an operation. Her friend Teddy does. 
Well, she'd better send him to me. We don't know where he's gone. Well, let's see to you first, then. Are you ready? You will be here when I come back. Promise. I'll be here. I look like doctors. Mm. Hold on. I don't like the look of those doctors. It's not safe in here. Whee! Well! Oi! That's my arm! It's not a sausage! Double serving of sprouts, please. Sprouts! I hate sprouts! Where's Teddy? I should be looking for him. I promised Flora I'd wait. Oh, Teddy can look after himself. No, he can't. I could find Teddy and come back here again. But where is he? Oh, no. She's after me. This is the operating theatre. It's where doctors make people better. Where's the doctor? We'll wait here for her. Why not get up on there where she can see you? <clears throat> hey! <laughs> Teddy, stop it. I'm being a doctor. Teddy! I'm a racing driver, Doctor. You'll break something. Yeah. I'm going back to wait for Flora. I promised I'd be there when she woke up. What about me? If you're a racing driver, Doctor, you can mend yourself and then drive back to find me. Pig's house? Dolls. Where is my arm? It's got to be here somewhere. What's been going on in here? I've never seen such a mess. Oh, it's you. I've been looking everywhere for you. Here's a teddy for you, dear. Thank you. I knew you'd like him as soon as I saw him. And I think he might like this. He must be Annie's friend, Teddy. You said you'd help him. I did. It looks like a very acute case of arm loss. But we'll do our best for him. I shouldn't have been so horrible to Teddy. And I should never have left him on his own. What's wrong? Teddy, he lost his arm and it was all my fault. And I should have helped him, but I got cross with him. It's all right. Look. I wish you could stay with me forever. We've got children of our own. We're trying to find our way back to them. Can't you stay with me a little bit? We'd like to, but it wouldn't be fair to our own children, would it? No. 
Who's that coming? Mummy, Daddy! Do you know what's wrong with you, Teddy? You never ask for help. You always think you can do everything on your own. Remember when I was hanging down that laundry chute? What was I shouting? Help! Help! That's not what I mean. I was screaming for help. And what do you do? You jump on top of me and push me down. Here. I did not. You did? You're the one that needs help. Do you want me to pull your arm off again? Hmm. Maybe we could sleep in there. It looks like a farm. It is a farm. A city farm. With animals? Yes, a farm with animals. I'm not sleeping with animals. Suit yourself. for somewhere to stay the night. You'll have to speak to Brenda. Who's Brenda? She's a cow, of course. Brenda's in charge. We're two lost toys trying to find our way home, and we haven't got anywhere to sleep. We'll find you somewhere, dear. Let me see. There's room with the goats. I don't sleep with goats. Teddy. Or with the dog. I hate dogs. Don't be so rude. I know. The hen house. That would be lovely. Thank you very much. Sleep well, dears. I'm not sleeping with chickens. Why not? I don't want to. No, you're just chicken. I'm not chicken, and I'm not a chicken. I'm a teddy bear descended yeah, from... Yeah, yeah. Don't start all that again. I don't sleep with chickens. I do. And it's quite snug in here. Something bit my bum. Mama! How did that get there? You must have hatched the egg. How? The same way as hens do, by sitting on it. Congratulations, you're a mother. Mama! I'm not a hen. Maybe you could learn. Mama! See what happens when you sleep in a chicken house? You get chickens calling your mama. Mama! Mama! Go home. You are a chicken. You live in a chicken house. I am a teddy bear. I don't. All right? Mama, Mama! Mama! I'm not your Mama! What are you doing? Looking for you. Not hiding from the little chick? She keeps following me. Ah, oh, sweet. She is not sweet. They're very simple creatures, chickens, dear. They believe that the first person they see when they're born must be their Mama. mummy. I'm not her mother. Mama. I know, dear. Mama. But she doesn't. You'll just have to look after her. You'll make a wonderful Mama. mother, Teddy. Mama. No chance.
Let's go. What are you doing? I'm in disguise. Come on, quick. And you're going to leave the baby chick? Yeah. You can't. Just watch me. Mama! 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 I'm watching. That's it. I've had enough of this lark. I'm not a hen. I'm not your mama. And I'm not looking after you because I hate chickens. I had to do it. I know. There's no way we're ever going to find our children if we have to take a chicken with us. No way at all. Anyway, toys can't look after animals. Toys need looking after themselves. That's right. The chickens need to be with other chickens. Best place for a chicken. Stop agreeing with me. Sorry. She was quite cute, really, for a chicken. Do you want me to agree or argue? I don't know. I wish I hadn't shouted out. Mama! Oh no! Oi, chicken! Come on, let's go home! Come back! We've got to catch her. No, we don't. Yes, we do. How would you feel if something terrible happened to her? All right, we've got to catch her. But if she calls me Mama one more time, up a frozen chicken. Oh, I think I've caught a cold. We could wait till she gets down. Or I climb and get her. I'll climb up and get her. Careful, big towels. Come back. I'll get her. Oh, no. That too. Where is she? I know. Eggs. She's not here. Yes, she is. Somewhere. Mom, mom. There's someone coming. Up here, quick. Nor am I. Mama. After it. Mama. Mama. Help! You've got to stop it! I can't! Move, Teddy, and don't let go. I can't. Hang on. Uh, 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 oh. You all right? Yeah, you? My arms hurt. What about... I don't know. Mama, mama, mama. 
She can't swim. Of course she can't. She's a chicken. Quick! Help! Teddy! Help! 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 I can't swim! <laughs> What? Mama! Yeah, Mama. I never thought I'd be glad to hear you say that. She's safe. Thanks to me. Who's better looking, me or Pigtails? Mama! She knows a thing or two, this chicken. Takes after me. Troy? Teddy! Mama! No, Teddy! Mama! That could take some time. Why not come and get dry first, Mama Bear? Yeah. Let's get this little one back to the farm. There you go. That's your real mum. Yeah, I've been looking after her. Ooh, thank goodness she's safe. We were very worried. You weren't the only ones. What about me? Don't I even get a peck on the cheek? No, it's hard being a mum. You think she's all right? Yes. Let's go before she changes her mind. Good idea. Goodbye. <coughs> You're going to miss her. No. Of course you will. I don't like chickens. But they like you. I don't even want to talk about it. You made a lovely mum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sprouts. That's it. I've had enough of this, Mark. Come on, pigtails. All right. If you spent less time getting doled up and a bit more time looking for our home, we'd be back there by now. And our children would take one look at you and tell you to go away again. What? Come here. Look. What's the problem? Look at you. You're dirty and scruffy. Bears are supposed to be scruffy. Well, dolls aren't. Dolls. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh. Stop. There's someone coming. Wonderful to have clean hair and smart clothes. Bears don't wear clothes. Well, dolls do, and mine are worn out. Oh, look, Nanny, a poor fat lost dolly. Oh, no! <gasps> Pigtails! on my own.
Pigtails? Pigtails? What? You can't go in there. I can. What about me? You're too scruffy. You should have listened to me. Don't forget my dolly. <gasps> Pigtails? What's that? <laughs> this is a lost dolly I found in the park. I want you all to be nice to her while I go to buy her lots of lovely new clothes. Hello, I'm Annie. Oh, are you? Don't be beastly, Claudia. But darling, she's so old. And look at her clothes and those pigtail <gasps> thingies. She doesn't belong here. Oh! Sorry. Oh, nice of you to drop in. Uh, Wasn't my idea. What are you doing here? I was thrown out. Why? Because I'm coming unstuffed. Uh, my friend Annie could mend you. She's in the house. We'll go in and see her. It's not safe for toys in there. The little girl, she locks them up. Who's that? Motor mouse, he'll help you. Let's go then. He can't, he's lost his key. I've got a key. I'd love to wear something like this. That's mine. I'm wearing it on the catwalk, and I don't want your nasty, pudgy hands all over it. Why are you being so horrible to me? Because of the fashion show. Every day we have to model our new clothes, and any dolls who aren't pretty enough, she takes them away. Where? To the cupboard. It's all cold and dark in there. And it's full of spiders. There's a door. That's the cat flap. Uh, it was the cat that did this to me. Uh. Oh no. Good luck, darling. You'll need it. Gets out of here. Pigtails. Teddy. Hold <laughs> up. You. What are you doing? Rescuing you. When we can work out how. What's that? Spiders! 
No, it's a rat. Rats eat toys? Help! Ready? It's not going to work. Go! Geronimo! <laughs> well, got it. Quick! Oh, brilliant! Oh no, Teddy! See ya, must fly! Yes! Teddy! Pigtails! Nanny! <gasps> Dolly tea time! She's coming! What are we going to do? We'll take the tray. Job she ate scruffy toys. Well, I don't like looking like this. And look at me! Well, let's get cleaned up. Nobody's going to want us now. Of course they will. There's a children's hospital near here. We'll take you there. But look at us! You look great. The children there will love you. Are you coming? No, we've got to find our way home. Are you ready, Pigtails? I need to do my hair. Yeah, we'll be here all day. Sprouts. to pick a sprout trap, didn't you? It's going in the right direction. We'd be better off walking. That's not what you said when we were walking. I'm off. I've had enough of sprouts. But, Teddy... How do you open this door? Don't... Help! Basket for my truck. Spud hates toys. Ooh, ooh. Big towels. I'm here.
Peraí. I've had enough of this log. Get me down! <laughs> On second thoughts, I'll stay here. Help! Must be my lucky day. Another musket for my truck. Where have you been? Trying to help you. Help me? I've been pelted with sprouts, had the stuffing shaken out of me, and nearly been eaten alive. A fat lot of help you've been. Now you're stuck too. No, I'm not. There's only one thing that's fat around here. I'm not fat. I'm teddy-shaped. And you're stuck. I know. What's that smell? What smell? A sort of burning smell. It's my bum! It's burning! It is right against the engine. Help! Help! <laughs> Magic. You can't sit there, Teddy. Who says? Oh, no! Run! Follow us up there. <laughs> Spud hates toys. Why? W what do you mean, why? Why do you hate toys? Well, well, toys don't get sent out to work, do they? Toys don't get chained up and left out all night in the rain. Is that what your owner does to you? Of course it is. And, and Spud don't like it. No! <laughs> Look out! Let's clear off, Big Tails. We can't leave him. He's a dog. He needs our help. He was going to rip us to pieces. Why should we help him? That's why. Teddy? I hate dogs. They're nothing but trouble. Sometimes it's their owners that are the problem. But what am I supposed to do? You distract the man. I'll rescue Spud. You distract the man. Oh, thanks, pigtails. You 
distract the maid. Mm. Spud, we'll save you. Shh, don't make a sound. I'll untie you. This is the business. Yeah, come on, Nick. Oh, the brakes on. Oi, hold on. I'm not ready. Oh, no. We'll help you. Help, help. Will you help me now? Um, uh, yeah, you can count me in. Follow that bulldozer. Help! Get me out of here! <laughs> Toys no more. Toys are Spud's friend. Get off. You don't have to stay here. We'll find you somewhere new to live. Will you? Of course we will. Everything's going to be different. <laughs> That's all Spud needed. A good owner. When it comes to finding a home for other people, there's no problem. Finding our own home, we're rubbish at that. It's not fair, is it? You know what else isn't fair? What? Every truck we get a lift in, it's full of sprouts. You mean you don't like sprouts? I hate sprouts. Oh, you never mentioned it before. I've always hated sprouts. But they smell so lovely. How can anyone like sprouts? <laughs> Sprouts. People, their buildings on fire. Let's have a look. Teddy, we're trying to find our home. I've never seen a real fire. That's far enough, Teddy. I could be a firefighter. Nino, Nino, Nino. Well, hey, wait. Oh, 
I'm a witch. I told you. You ever get tired of always knowing better? Come on. Let me dry out first. Oh. 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 Someone's coming. We've left Eddie. He'll get burned. We can't go back for him now. <laughs> the important thing is that we're safe. I want Eddie. I'll get you another teddy bear. Oh, look, here are two toys that need looking after. Why not have them for the moment? I want Eddie. Oh, I know, I know. There's your mum. I'll, I'll get her. Wait here, Tom. I promise you won't move. He's going back in. Tom! You heard what your dad said. Wait here. You can talk. Of course I can, but are you listening? I've got to rescue Eddie. We'll get him. You? Yes, but only if you promise to stay here. A real promise. I promise. Where is Eddie? In my bedroom. And where's that? Apartment 101, on the 10th floor. We'll bring him back as soon as we can. Teddy? What are you doing? Going to rescue Eddie. Have you seen those flames? We'll burn up in no time at all. So we'd better get on with it. What do you mean, we? I thought you wanted to be a firefighter. This is your chance. But of course, if you're scared... I'm not scared, but I'm not stupid either. And what about Eddie? All right. I am stupid, but not as stupid as you. Ah, at least there's a lift. We can't use it. It's not safe when there's a fire. How long's it going to take us to climb up the stairs to the 10th floor? Hours. We shouldn't use the lift. We shouldn't be here at all. How do we reach the button? Uh. Easy. Come on, pigtails. Right, we'll be in and out in no time. going to hear you. But what do we do now? Oh, I don't know. There's a hatch up there. Could you lift me? Not that way. On the broom. I can try. Uh. Don't move. Uh, I can't reach. Hold on. Oh, nearly there. I can't hold it, pigtails! Oh, oh, get it! Oh. Careful! Pigtails! Teddy, can you reach me with the broom? No! It's getting hot in here! Pigtails! What are you doing? Hold this. I'll try to pull you up. Got it. <clears throat> Thanks, pigtails. Can I have my clothes back? Yeah, sorry. One good thing. With this fire, you aren't going to catch a cold. I never thought we'd get out of there. How are we going to get out of here? <laughs> There's a ladder up the side of the lift shaft. All we have to do is crawl along there. What? Crawl along there? That could get us killed. Staying here will get us killed. You want me to go first? Go on. Don't look down. You can do it. I've done it. With axes, are you? Uh, no, but I can manage doors. What floor is this? 
I don't know. Help! Help! <gasps> that must be Eddie. Where is he? This way. Here. Coming. Over here, my hearties. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I thought I was bound for Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> Captain Kidd, Merchant Navy, retired. <laughs> they rescued the Admiral, but forgot about me. <laughs> I'm Annie, and he's Teddy. We're looking for a teddy bear called Eddie. He lives on the 10th floor. You're on the 12th floor. Come on, I'll show you the way. <coughs> Is there any other way down? There's the lift. No! no! Ooh. <sighs> Apartment 101. They've got a telly. Teddy. Look, that's us. We're on the telly. Just above where all those flames are. No! Eddie? Eddie! Over here. He's over there. But the carpet's burning. We could put that out. Hold on. What's that? Lemonade, of course. Always wanted to do this. <laughs> yeah. Great toys. Look at that rocket. Space, the final frontier. Boy, how about giving me a hand? Sorry. Oh. We've got to move the bed. Teddy, stop playing with the toys. I'm not playing. No. It won't work. Wait. When I say pull, pull him. Right. Pull! Oh! Whoa! Ooh. Oh, brilliant! Useful being Teddy shaped, isn't it? Over here! Right this way! He's down! We're not allowed out here. You can go back if you want. Captain, could you carry Eddie and fly? Be mighty well laden, but I'll give it a try. Thank you. I'll come back for you. Just get Eddie down. We'll be all right. Ah! Ooh. Ah! What do you mean, we'll be all right? We're too heavy for him to carry. That's it, then. You know, I always thought we'd do it. Get home and see our kids again. <sighs> Me too. No, we tried. Yes. Thanks, Annie. You know, you're not bad for a bear. Hang on. Teddy? Teddy? Look, we can use this. Would it work? Let's find out. Ready? Ready. Go. Yay! That was so nearly a perfect idea. What do you mean, nearly? You wait. <clears throat> Problem solved. Ooh. I was wrong about one thing. We are going to get home. One day. One day. After that lock, it's going to be easy. Piece of cake. Did you notice something? That Eddie, he never even said thank you. Teddy bears. They're well known for being rude. We are not. Dolls have manners. Teddies don't. We are not rude. You are? Oh, shut up. See? Rude, rude, rude. Oh, very clever. That's another thing dolls are and teddies aren't. Yeah.
I hate sprouts. snow. You know the way it gets stuck in the fur under your feet? Are you listening? Oh, no. It's Captain Courage. He's been slung out. He's going cheap. I wish I could buy him. Why? He's so wonderful. What can he do better than me? Do you want me to make a list? He hasn't seen me. Hello? Captain? Captain? Look at that. You call me rude. It doesn't matter. Come on. I'll get him to talk to you. No. Oi, Barmy Army man. How about giving pigtails a wave, eh? You! Cocky knickers! It's your last chance! <laughs> Help! Get off me! It's out! Please don't hurt him, Captain. It's standard operating procedure in case of unprovoked ballistic assault, ma'am. Of course. Any chance of letting Teddy go? He won't do it again. Who says? I say. Okay, ma'am. Remember, little guy. Next time you see a soldier on guard duty, you think twice before you attack. Next time you won't stand a chance. Is that right? Yeah. Let's see what you're made of, then. You think you're so tough? There's nothing you can do I can't. <laughs> I'd like to see you prove it. All right. You wouldn't last one day doing what I have to do. I would. Okay. Okay. You do everything I do for one day, and I'll believe you. Yo, Bear, fitness training. Let's go. Can I have a rest? Rest? We haven't started yet. Push-ups, go! Hand! Didn't do too bad. You were terrible. You weren't much help. I'm not supposed to help. Weapons drill. You do exactly as I do. Got it? Yeah.
That was brilliant. Your turn, Bear. All right. How's this work, then? Teddy, no! I know what I'm doing. Oh! Sorry, ma'am. You saved me again, Captain. What's he got us out here for? It's a survival exercise, to test whether you can spend the night out in the open. Well, we do that all the time. You won't have any problem with it then, will you? What's all this clobber for? It's standard issue polar protection gear. Put it on. I don't need all this. I've got fur. It's the correct procedure. I can't be responsible for your well-being if you fail to utilize the appropriate apparel. What? Put the clothes on. Can't you do anything right? Do you need any help, Captain? No, ma'am. I've been trained for this. This pack contains essential supplies for overnight extra habitational survival. From now on, we're on our own. See you back here in 12 hours. What about me? How about you spend the night in that barn there with my spare equipment? I could come with you. No, ma'am. This is strictly a solo mission. Good luck. Give us a hand, pig tails. No, you're on your own. See you tomorrow. Must be so cold. I'll take him a blanket. Sprouts! Frozen sprouts! I hate sprouts! I've had enough of this. Room for a little one. That's better. Who'd want to stay out in that lot? Hello. I've brought you a blanket. Accepting aid from civilian non-participants is not permissible. Go away. Oh, no. Teddy? Teddy? Captain! Captain! What? It's Teddy. He's gone. You've got to help me look for him. I already told you. The objective of this exercise is to survive overnight without assistance. It's every man for himself out here. He's not a man. He's a bear. And he could be lost or hurt or frozen. I can't help that, ma'am. Good night. Service footing. I am currently not available to fraternize or to assist you in any way. Over and out. Help someone. Well, I do. Teddy. Here. You better have this. You'll freeze. No, I won't. I told you. I've got fur. Come on. It's lovely in here. It's better than the tent. Hello. The wind's got up. Shall we help him? 
No. It's against the rules. I failed the exercise. I'll never live this down. <laughs> so I won. You cheated. He never said no in houses. When it comes down to it, neither of you passed the test. No, but I proved I can do something he couldn't do. What? I rescued you. I was trying to rescue you. I didn't need rescuing. That makes a change. You can give me back that coat if you're going to be like that. You don't need it. You've got fur, remember? Did I ever tell you about... Yes. You don't know what I was going to say. I do. I've heard all your stories twice. No, you haven't. I have. There's one I've never told you. Go on, then. I can't. It's a secret. Suit yourself. Ooh, well, I suppose I could tell. As long as you promise you won't tell no one else. It's about the time when I was a secret agent. started in the casino under the stairs. Snap. It's not fair, Mr. Sproutfinger. I never win. That's because he's cheating. Who are you? The name's Bear. Teddy Bear. I should warn you not to take this any further, Mr. Bear. And let you get away with it. He was cheating. Hardball. Only a very foolish toy called Sproutfinger a cheat. You will regret this, Mr. Bear. Oh, you're so brave. Yeah. I have to be in my job. What's that? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. By the way, I'm Pigtails Galore. And I'm late. Teddy, you're late. You've been keeping the whole of the Toy Secret Service waiting. I've been busy. And who was the lucky doll? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Hmm. Em's waiting for you. Thanks, Money Box. I want you to watch this film, Teddy. You've got a telly. Great. Some toy has been buying up large stocks of sprouts from shops and markets all around the world. Oh, I hate sprouts. Would you stop interrupting? The same toy has also bought up huge numbers of rockets. We've discovered who he is. Sprout finger. Exactly. The worst behaved toy in the world. Your mission is to find out what he's up to and to stop him. I've always thought you were pretty well equipped, but M wants you to have these. This may look like a bow tie, but press the middle and it turns into a pair of water wings. This pen turns into a rocket pack. Not now! This hat turns into a bush disguise, and this pocket radio turns into a packet of sausages. 
Why do I need that? Well, you never can tell when it might come in handy. Finally, here's a watch. What's that do? It tells the time. So from now on, you've got no excuse for being late. Next day, I arrived on Sproutfinger's private island. But I was tired after a long journey. <sighs> Galoa, what are you doing here? After you'd gone, I felt sorry for Sproutfinger. And when he invited me to his island, I really couldn't say no. Why are you here? I can't tell you. This is a secret. Suit yourself. Boy, you've got to watch that Sproutfinger. Why? For a start, he cheats at Snap. And then there's the Sprouts. Sprouts? Yeah, he's got loads of them. So you better watch out. I will. That must be Sproutfinger's secret headquarters. But how do I get in? Oh, no! What are you doing, Miss Galar? Nothing. Good. Please stay away from that door in future. Teddy? Oh! <laughs> I opened the gate for you. You might have told me. You didn't tell me you were trying to get in. It was a secret. I've got a secret too. There's this huge room and it's full of sprouts. We need to get there quick then. Follow me. It's this way. Oh no, it's the dogs. I'll handle this. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be working. What? It's not working. I can't get it to work. Give it to me. <laughs> this way. Hold on. I'm the secret agent. I'm in charge here. So, you're a secret agent. Shh. That's supposed to be a secret. The room full of sprouts is down here. It's Sproutfinger! In here! We are approaching zero hour, Oddball. Achoo! Mr. Bear, Miss Galore, what an unpleasant surprise. This is all your fault. The leaves are tickling my nose. Nonetheless, I am delighted you could join us. I have a little treat in store for you. Some other time. Run! Come on! Don't open that door. <laughs> Oddball, take them to the rocket bay. Each one of these rockets is loaded with a megaton of sprouts. They are targeted on every playground in the Western world. In one minute, I will fire them. But why? To stop children being horrible to gongs. <laughs> they laugh at us. But that is all going to change. I will bombard them with sprouts till they learn to love gonks. You'll never get away with this, Sprout Finger. You're in no position to stop me, Mr. Bear. <laughs> Enjoy your flight. Oddball, start the countdown. I've got my arms free. Don't say anything and don't sneeze. I wasn't going to. <clears throat> right. Now. I'll deal with that sprout finger. How are you going to do that? I'll use my pen. Write him a rude letter? No. What then? I can't tell you, it's a secret. Be kind to him, Teddy. You're joking. I'm licensed to kill. With your pen? You'll see. What about me? I'll be back. Five, four, three, two. Stop. You are too late, Mr. Bear. Sprouts! I hate 
great sprouts. I'm really cross now. You've broken all my rockets. You don't need rockets. Firing sprouts into playgrounds isn't going to make children like you. They'll be so scared of me, they will have to like me. You could just try being friendly. It doesn't work. I've tried it. It does. You just need to try harder. Why not start with me and Teddy? We'll be your friends. No, you won't. Yes, we will. We really like you. Teddy's even got a present for you. No way, Evan. Your watch. I'm not giving him that. Go on. Uh, here. Oh, thank you. It doesn't fit. You put it on your wrist. See? Friends can help you with all sorts of things. So we all ended up friends. Until he started cheating at Snap again. But that's another story. What happened to the beautiful pigtails galore? I never said she was beautiful. I bet she was. Beautiful, clever, brave. Hold on, it's my story. Then tell me what happened to her. I can't. Why not? It's a secret. We haven't got all day. I'm being as quick as I can. I'll give you aid. No. <coughs> ah! Oh, now look what you've done. I'll have to find something to mend this with. Here we go again. They're going out, which means I can go in. So? Yes. That's what I'm going to do when I get in there. So. They must have a needle and thread somewhere. Wait a minute. You know what happens every time we go in a house? Trouble. No, it's when you go into a house there's trouble. That's why you're going to wait out here. Suits me. See you later. If I'm still here. <sighs> Look! Hmm. <gasps> Who the blazes is she? I haven't the faintest idea, sir. Well, ask her. I'm Annie. I hope you don't mind. I needed to borrow some thread. She breaks into our house, steals our supplies, and then has the cheek to ask if we mind. I don't know what the world's coming to. I'm very sorry. I'm afraid that's not enough. I don't know what else I can do. You can show just how sorry you are by doing some work for us. Work? Yes, work. There's a cupboard full of toys upstairs. Most of them could do with smartening up. That's where you come in. I'd love to help, but my friend Teddy, he's outside. If I could just tell him... Ah, the old I'll just tell my friend Teddy trick, eh? You won't get away with that one. You don't leave this house until those toys are mended. <sighs> Pigtails! Pigtails! Dolls. 
Not what you call neat, is it? That's because I'm getting tired. Please, can I go now? No. At times like these, we all have to make sacrifices. There's all these to do as well. Hmm, <gasps> those. Pigtails! Which one's she in? That one? No, no. It's got to be that one. Pigtails? Oh, no! Get off me! Help! Right, I'm going. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You can't keep me here. We can. We've been granted special powers to conscript civilian toys. I don't understand. It's quite simple. We all have to do our bit in time of war. War? War. We're at war. Let me go. That's enough for that. You do as you're told. Why are you doing this to me? You're a spy. That's news to me. Who am I spying for? Next door. Put him in with the other one. For you, the war is over. Pigtails? Is that you? No, it's me, Bobtail. But that's a joke. My tail came off in the battle last week. Battle? What battle? I live in the house next door. The soldiers from in here attacked us. Why? It, it all started when the boy who lives in this house came into us to play. One of the soldiers went missing, and they say it's all our fault. How did you end up here? They took me prisoner. They say I can't go home until they get their little kneeling man with their bazooka back. Have you tried to escape? <sighs> There's no way out of this cupboard. There's got to be. Can you untie me? I could bite the string. Ow! You're supposed to be biting the string, not me. Teddy? Pigtails, where are you? Here, next door. I'm locked in a cupboard. You've got to get me out. I can't. Anyway, it's your turn to rescue me. I'm on my way. We'll have to get out of here on our own. How? We're going to knock that door open. Ready? One. Two, three! All units fire at will. That's enough of that. I'm in charge now. You're our prisoner. No, I'm your general. And I'm leading you into action next door. By the left, quick march. Left, right, left, right. I'm going to turn you horrible little men into a lean, mean fighting machine. About turn and down to the kitchen for ammunition. Up, two, three, four. Squirty cream? Yes, sir. Sausages? Yes, sir. Sprouts? Uh, with respect, sir. Are you sure that's necessary, sir? This is war, Sergeant. We can get through into the roof of the next door house over here. Are we above the drop zone now, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Corporal Bobtail, jump to it. All right, sir. Airborne assault unit, go, go, go! Geronimo! Sergeant, we're moving out! Yes, sir! It's the enemy, sir. They're not fighting fair. They're using baked beans. Deploy the squirty cream. We'll have to deploy the sausages and the sprouts. Come on! What's happening? They're fighting. Is there a teddy bear with them? It was his idea. Was it? Right. Well, my idea is that they stop fighting. 
Did they make all this mess? No, that was me. I ought to get the vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner? That's a brilliant idea. We've got them cornered. We'll let them make the first move. I've got a shower, and I'm not afraid to use it. We're not scared of you, Jumbo. Attack! Ah! Yeah, retreat! I think the answer to the problem might be in here. <coughs> there he is. This will give us all the cover we need. Follow me, lads! Stop! I found your missing soldier. You sure? He's here. So we've won. No, we fought you in the bedroom. We fought you in the bathroom. We fought you on the stairs. We remained undefeated. But you would have been. Quiet. Nobody's won and nobody's lost. And now we're all going to help each other tidy up. We're soldiers. We don't tidy up. Yes, you do. Come on. At least they're friends again. That's because all this cleaning up's made them too tired to fight. They don't need to fight anymore. Let's get this lock back to barracks. That should be permission to return the platoon to barracks, sir. Sir? Yeah, I'm still a general. <sighs> Come on, pigtails. Pick them up. Left, right, left, right. You're not in the army now. That should be, you're not in the army now, sir. Anyway, it's my army. I can stay in it as long as I like. <laughs> Oh, no, not again. We'll have to go back so you can mend it. Good idea. We can finish the tidying up. Ah. Well, maybe another time. I think we should go back, sir. Stop it. What, sir? You don't have to call me sir anymore. Yes, sir. Sorry. Sir. <laughs> Sprouts. What's wrong? I hate it when the park closes. All those children going home, and we can't. We'll get home someday. Will we? Sometimes our home feels as far away as... as... as the moon. Look. Spaceship. It's a plane. It's a spaceship. You can stay and pretend to see spaceships if you like. I'm going to look for somewhere to sleep. Bleep. Bleep, bleep, bleep. What are you doing? This is my alien detection device. It's amazing the way they've made it so it looks just like a stick. That's to stop the aliens getting hold of it. Bleep, 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 bleep. Any chance of turning it into a place to stay for the night detection device? Hold on. Bleep, 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 bleep. There's something in the bushes. Bleep, 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 bleep. Teddy. It is a spaceship. What's it doing in the bushes? It's crashed. We've got to be very careful. 
That's being very careful, is it? Quiet. The alien will get us. Strange, isn't it? I thought being pursued by aliens would be far more scary than this. Let's go. We can't. Oh, I've got to talk to the alien. I thought he was gonna get us. He had his chance and he didn't. That means he must be a friendly alien. Hold on. I'll communicate with him. I am Teddy. I don't think he understands. This is my planet. Maybe he's looking for intelligent life. D D D D D. What are you doing? It's a tune you sing to aliens. Oi, alien, are you deaf or what? I am lost in space. I am lost in space. Do you want us to help you get home? I am lost in space. We've got to help him. How? First we mend his spaceship, then we put him in it and send him home. Where do you live? I am lost in space. Show me where you live. Oi, come back. We're helping you. Teddy? Teddy? You'll end up lost in space if you're not careful. I am from Mars. I am from Earth. I am from Mars. I am from Earth. I am a very important Teddy. I descend from a president of the United States. I am from Mars. I know that. Will you just listen? There's stuff I can tell you. Wait! That's not the way to Mars! Stop! It's not safe out there. Come on, Teddy. Typical bear. <laughs> I've lost it. Well, the park's closed now. We'll come back and find it tomorrow. I want my spaceship now. Oh, we'll come back first thing tomorrow morning. It'll be all right. It won't. Come on, let's go home. There's some things you need to know. There's one thing you really need to steer clear of. It's these horrible little green balls called sprouts. They're dangerous. Another thing is dogs. They're big, drooling monsters. They go woof, woof. Just like that. Hold on. He's coming this way, quick. I have a ray gun. I will shoot. You can't do that, not even to dogs. I have a ray gun. I will shoot. No! We're gonna get the stuff we need and head straight back to the park. I'm not having you starting intergalactic warfare. <sighs> that poor boy. He was so upset about losing his toy. I've got to get it back to him. Ah, oh, it's not exactly another planet. But it might as well be. Oh. I need help. Your spaceship? It's gone. I am lost in space. I know. I am lost in space. You're gonna stay lost in space if we don't find the spaceship. Look. There's weird lines on the ground. This way. Ow! I am from Mars. Yeah. And you're going back there. Now give me a hand with this thing. How do I tell the little boy where his spaceship is? <gasps> I know. This is the launch pad, right? We use this to catapult you into orbit. Testing. One, two, three. Help! Help! I have a ray gun. I will shoot.
Is it my spaceship? No. There's no one there. Never mind. My car! Remember what you tell them when you get back to Mars? I am lost in space. No, you won't be lost in space. You'll be back home. Now, what do you say? I am from Mars. They know that already. You tell them that you met me, a very important teddy bear. And if there's any space travel going, I'm interested. All right? I have a ray gun. I will shoot. No, you won't. You're not to say that again. Ever. Oh, no, it's gone. Mission Control to Alien. Prepare to start countdown. Ten, nine, seven, eight. Come on, let's go home. But, Dad, the doll, she was going to find my spaceship. I know she was. Yes, you're tired and it's bedtime. Let's pick up your car and go home. No, don't! Three, two, one, blast off! did that happen? The doll did it! What doll? The one that was there. Hmm. Bedtime. Where have you been? Here. You missed me launching the spaceship. I've sent it home. I saw. You admit you saw the spaceship. Flying in the sky. It was a toy. No. Yes. Just because you don't understand machines. Who says? Me. What you got there? Looks like a machine. It's after you, Teddy. Get it off me. Stop it. I can't. I'm no good with machines. It's out. Dad, something's happened to my robot. Shh. Go to sleep. I am lost in space. I am from Mars. I hate sprats. Look, here's a spaceship. <sighs> it's an aeroplane. <laughs> Mission control to alien. Have a good flight. Do you believe me now? Big tails? Dolls. Sprouts. Playing. 
Yeah, he's playing Let's Eat Teddy. <laughs> Run! <laughs> I hate dogs. This is a theatre. Let's see what's on. It's a magic show. That's Mr. Hocus Pocus. Why? I wish I could do that. You can't. Let's go before someone sees us. I was enjoying that. I know. It's raining out here. I know. I hate rain. I know. Yeah. Miss Know-It-All pigtails, you are. It's getting worse. Let's build a shelter. Let's build a shelter. All right, I'll build a shelter and you can get wet. Abracadabra, get me an umbrella. It works. I'm a magic teddy. <sighs> Look what I've found. An umbrella. Good for you. No, not that. This. A stick. That's going to keep us dry, is it? It's a magic wand. Well, go and magic yourself up a shelter. You're not coming in here. All right. Alakazam, alakazoom. Make me a house with a nice comfy room. Not bad. I should have let him come in. No, it's time he learned to be a bit more helpful. He can stay outside. Ow! Sprouts! I'm not having them in here. I could do with some help round here. Abracadabra, here's my spell. I need someone to help as well. I want all this tidy. Next job, go and get pigtails. Off you go. I suppose I'll have to look for him. Teddy? Teddy? Whoa, what are you doing? Put me down. Help! You can put her down now. Oh. <sighs> Who's he? Sprout me. I magic him. Of course you did. You could have told me you'd found this place. But no, typical bear, you leave me out there in the cold and wet. You be careful what you say. I'm a magic teddy now. I've got powers. Well, you haven't got manners. I have. Tell you what, I'll get you a chair. Alakazam, the next thing you go for is for pigtails. It's a sofa. How did you do that? Magic, I told you. Go on, sit down. You can really do magic? Yeah. Then you could get us the thing that we want more than anything else. No problem. And for my next trick, Abracadabra, Alakazam.
Cos he... How about getting us a big TV? I didn't mean that. I was thinking you could magic us home to our children. Yeah, but I want to watch this first. That's Mr Hocus Pocus. He's rubbish. That's because you've got his magic wand. No, I found this in the rubbish. Outside the theatre. You've got to give it back. No, it's mine. Give it back. You can't make me. We'll see. I'm not watching any more of this. <gasps> oh, Teddy! Oh, no! I told you! Help! Abracadabra, don't make a fuss. Tell you I command you to stop chasing us. Stay right there. I'm not afraid to use this. Drop the magic wand, Teddy. No! It's the only way to stop them. Drop it. Get off! Teddy! Thank you for your help. You've got a lot to learn about magic. What's he doing? Getting a sword. What? He's gonna cut you in half. No! It's all right, it's magic. Don't say that word. Magic, Teddy. Stop it! Fancy the look of that. No. This way, quick. <laughs> How did you do that? Magic? Dogs can't do magic. Where are you? Here. Oh, careful. I can't see you. Hey, stop that. It tickles.
I'm not talking to you. I said I'm not talking to you. Dowels. <gasps> Teddy? Watch out! I'm most terribly sorry. What? Well, I, I was rather in the way. <laughs> it's not your fault, it's that doll's. Well, uh, allow me to introduce myself. Uh, Teddy is the name. No, I'm Teddy. Oh, really? Oh, how confusing. What are you doing in here? It's all rather unfortunate. Young Master Crispin, quite inadvertently, I'm sure, um, dropped me. And then this, this cleaner chap he deposited me here. And um, I'm, I'm a bit stuck. I'll get you out. Big Bell! You're not talking to me, remember? Get us out! Us? There's two of us now. Oh, that's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> Careful! I say, I'm most awfully grateful. Um, perhaps you'd, uh, you'd care to take tea with me? I'd rather have tea with you than with some bears I know. This is Master Crispin's room, where I live. It's wonderful. You've got your own telly. <laughs> Two, actually. <laughs> Two tellies? I wouldn't mind living here. Oh, and I wouldn't mind leading the sort of life you live. Ooh, seeing the world. Oh, lots of adventures. <laughs> Why don't we swap, then? I stay here, you go with pigtails. Teddy, we can't. Just like you. Always have to know best, don't you? All right, if that's what you want. Let's do it. Shall we go? After you, Annie. This is the business. Comfy bed, giant telly, and no dolls. Thank you, Teddy. My pleasure, Annie. I can't tell you what a change it is to be with a toy like you. On the first is draw, this side a tombstone. Oi, what's going on? <gasps> You like sprouts? I love them. Serves him right. I hate sprouts. Eat up, Teddy. Get me out, Teddy! 
what exactly should I do? Wait for the bag! Uh, I, I can't. Oh, typical bag. Ow! Oh, dear. Lambert, Teddy's looking a bit the worse for wear. I think a bath would be in order. <coughs> very, very good, sir. <laughs> and uh, are you all right? No, I'm neck deep in rubbish and dirt. Get me out. But how, how, how exactly do I do that? Oh, dear. Oh no! Where are we? The rubbish dump. It's not safe here. Quick! Oh! Uh, 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 oh! Ow! Uh, help! I'm stuck! I don't think I can quite reach you! I've had enough of this. What are you doing? Thinking. Stop thinking and do something. Oh, uh, oh yeah. What? Oh, 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 nothing to worry about. I really hate sprouts. Teddy? Teddy? Someone's stolen Teddy. We must find him. Pigtails. In this sort of rubbish place. She's um, she's a bit stuck, actually. Then why aren't you helping her? Well, I um I came to look for you. Great. That's all we need. You can't leave me here on my own. You'll be alright. How rude. <laughs> Keep up, Lambert. Very good, sir. <laughs> no, that's not him. He's so dirty. <laughs> Lambert. Oh, I say. I rather think it is him. What a mess. Big out. Got it! Teddy! Oh, that's enough of that. What was the food like there? Brilliant. Really? Almost as good as all that music. Yeah. 
I would have stayed, but I knew you wouldn't be safe without me. The number of times I've got you out of trouble. You have not? I have. You're the most trouble-prone bear in the universe. I'm not talking to you. I said I'm not talking to you. Good. Sprouts. getting soap standing here. Let's go in. No. Houses mean trouble. It's people that mean trouble. And it's obvious there's no one in there. What are we gonna do in there? We could get warm and dry. We could even smarten up a bit. Not me. All right, stay out here and get even wetter. <laughs> if you say I told you so, I'll... What? I won't be your friend anymore. Good. Then I wouldn't have to have all these stupid arguments all the time. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Help me. All right. Keep your pigtails on. <clears throat> <laughs> All it needs is a bit of muscle. Ow! I hate puddles. Are you coming? <coughs> sprouts. I hate sprouts. Ow! Ooh, ah, ooh. Soap. You mean you've used it before? It's best not to put it up your nose. Teddy, what are you up to? I'm sort of, you know. What? I'll show you. It's her. What about her? <gasps> oh, Teddy. Are you in love? No. Let's go and say hello to her. No, I can't. Why not? Are you shy? No. But she's so smart. Well, I need clothes. Let's see what we can find. Don't look while I'm dressing. I wasn't. You were. How does this work? Am I allowed to look? Yes. Oh, give it to me. You look great. Yeah? Yeah. But don't bend over in those trousers. They're a touch on the tight side. Off you go, then. That was quick. What do I say to her? 
I should avoid or you on the music box and I ate dolls. It's no use. I'm going to have to talk posh to her. You don't. I do. She's dead posh. She won't want to talk to me. I, I, I need to speak like you. Try it again. Look out for sprouts without sauerkraut. Look out for sprouts without sauerkraut. No, sprouts. 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 I hate sprouts. That's just stupid. It's never going to work. Let's get out of here. Wait, I've had an idea. What if I talk for you? How do you mean? I hide somewhere near you and do the talking and you just mime to what I'm saying. No. Try it. Ready? Go on. Hello, my name's Teddy. It works. Let's have another go. I do not care to partake of Brussels sprouts. Oh, <laughs> this is the business. Let's try it. Teddy! What if she asked me to dance? I am not going to teach you to dance. <coughs> Shh! Someone will hear! Who? Your friend in the tutu. She might come running in here looking for someone to dance with. What are you looking for? This. Come here. Hold my hand. Do I have to? Yes. Now put your other arm round my waist. Go on. Ow! Don't pull my pigtails. Sorry. Start by moving your left foot. No, the other one. Back. Then the right to join it. Then the left. Oh! Ow! You did that on purpose. Well. Stamped on my foot. Oh, that's it. I've had enough of this. Oh, no, it's people. Hide. Where? In here, quick. I can't. Look in these trousers. Take them off, then. There's toys in here, Keith. What are we looking for, Kath? Oh, I've forgotten again. Oh, expensive jewels and valuable ornaments. But I like toys, Keith. No, you don't. Oh, no, I don't. Come on. They're burglars. Where are you going? I've got a saver. <sighs> Oi, there's burglars. No. Don't worry. I'll save you. Don't move. Look, Keith, it's a valuable ornament. Oh, we'll have that, Kath. What do we do now, Keith? We lick it, Kath. The idea was you were going to save her. I will. I've got a plan. But I'll need your help. What a surprise. What are you doing, Kath? Checking the coast's clear, Keith. Hurry up! It's the coppers, Keith! Run! You saved my life. Yeah. You are so brave, so strong, so handsome. How can I ever thank you? You don't have to. But I do. Come with me. Want me to bring your music box? Thank you. Oi, pigtails, give us a hand. Why didn't you ask her? No, I couldn't. She's delicate and beautiful. Thanks, Teddy. 
We'll get this inside, then I need to smarten up again. It's me. I'm back. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Although, there is a doll called Annie. Who are you? My name's Teddy. What happened to the other bear? The one that rescued me? That's me. Don't you recognize me? No. You're not at all like the other bear. He was much more my type. But it was me. No, it wasn't. I don't like you at all. Go away. Go on. All that washing and getting dressed and she liked me the way I was. Amazing. Typical doll. Quick, it's the people who live here. Teddy, come on. It would never have worked. You've still got me. That's supposed to cheer me up, is it? Look out for sprouts without sauerkraut. Leave it out. 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 Sprouts. Pigtails, are you awake? What? Are you awake? <sighs> I am now. Why don't we go out on one of those boats? Teddy, it's the middle of the night. Yeah, best time for it. No one around to see us. Can't I go back to sleep? No, we're going on a boat. Teddy, how can you steer if you can't see where we're going? Good question. Hold on. We're going towards an island. Ah! Walter, we're sinking! Oh! I'll save you, pig tails. I, I feel safer saving myself, thank you. <laughs> this is all your fault. Ow! How are we going to get off this island? Maybe we can walk off. Over the water? Great idea. We don't know this is an island, do we? <laughs> <laughs> Oi, big tails. It is an island. Can you hear me? Help! We're stranded on the island. That should do it. I fell out of the tree. Is that part of your plan for getting off the island? No. My plan is to build a boat. We need loads of wood, sticks and, um, stuff. Anything else? I might need the ribbons off your pigtails to tie it all together. <sighs> T 
Ta-da! That was quick. It's finished. That's your boat? Yeah. Want to have a go? No. I'd like to watch you have a go. All right. <laughs> Can I have my ribbons back now? We're stuck on an island thousands of miles from anywhere. No hope of escape. And all you can think about is your air ribbons. Actually, I need them to build a shelter. Are you coming? Dolls. We still need more wood. I can't find any more. You didn't have a problem when you were building your boat. Teddy? Teddy! Did you walk over here, Pigtails? No, I've been building the shelter, remember? Then these aren't your footprints. Well done. Then whose footprints are they? I don't know. I bet the person whose footprints these are lives here. I wonder who it could be. Whoever it is, they're better at building houses than you are. Hello? Good day. I wondered how long it would take you to find me. I'm Friday. Because we've met you on a Friday? Nah, because that's my name. How long have you been here? Oh, years. I've given up trying to get off the island. And of course, nobody ever comes here. Why is that? It's a bird sanctuary. A special place where rare birds can live safely. You'll find that's one of the good things about living here. And you'll have plenty of time to make friends with the birds. I hate birds. And there's no way I'm staying on this island. He'll learn. Great! Pete's house, Tuesday. There's a boat. It's not Tuesday, it's Friday. Isn't it Saturday by now? What's it matter? We're going to be rescued. No, we're not. Those are poachers. What are they doing? They're probably trying to steal birds' eggs. We've got to stop them. I've got a better idea. We let them steal the birds' eggs and we steal their boat. That way everyone's happy. Except the birds. We've got to help them. Well, you and Wednesday can help them. I'm getting the boat. Hide! They're coming! <laughs> I don't like this boat, Keith. It's not safe. Then you better get out, Keith. But that wasn't very nice, Keith. I'm fed up with you moaning, Keith. Now pull us in. Not me, the boat. Sorry, Keith. How come we always have to work at night, Keith? Cos we're thieves, Kath. What are we thieving, Keith? Eggs, Kath. One's what people pay loads of money for. So let's go and find them. Now that's more like it. The boat you don't have to pedal. I don't like this place, Keith. That's all right, Kath. You're not staying. Where am I going, Keith? Up there, Kath. <laughs> That's where the nest is. What can we do? I don't know. I'm stuck, Keith! Well, get yourself unstuck. We haven't got all day. It's not day, Keith. It's night. And I don't like it. You won't like it even more if you come down without them eggs. Get going! I can't, Keith! Now take your life jacket off! <laughs> right, right. I'm coming up after you! I wonder what that does. Oh, what was that, Keith? Sounded like a bird with throat ache. Talking of which. No, oh, there's the eggs. Take them. On. It's not very nice taking a birdie's eggs, Keith. Well, of course it's not. That's what we do. Things that aren't very nice, remember. Now give it to me. I don't like it here, Keith. 
from. Going home. I thought that Mundy doll said no one ever came here. It's one boat after another tonight. Oh, no. Not them at all. They've got what they deserve. And we end up stuck here. No, I've had an idea. But I'll need your help. Can you sit on this? What for? The eggs will go cold if there's no one sitting on them. I'm not a bird. Do you want to get off this island or not? <sighs> Careful! We'll be back in a minute. Here, what, what's going on? Ow! Hey, leave that out! Think that's clever, do you? First thing you do in your life is bite my bum. Teddy, you've done it. They're lovely. No, they're dangerous. I thought you were getting us out of here. I am. This is our new boat. Are you coming with us, Friday? Mm, nah. I come to quite like it here. And someone's got to look after the chicks. Goodbye. Catch you later, Cobra. Oh, this is hard work. Yeah, and I'm doing most of it. You're hardly paddling at all. I am. You are not. If you don't like the way I'm paddling, you can get off my boat. Who says it's your boat? I found it. There's a quicker way back. Want to try it? I don't know. Watch. No, Teddy! <laughs> oh, on a night full of your stupid ideas, that was by far the worst. <laughs> Are you saying I'm stupid? Yes. I'm not the one that left my pigtail ribbons on the island. <laughs> what was that for? Good night, Teddy. <sighs> Sprouts. Supposed to be looking for our home. All right, I'm coming. Roll up, roll up. It's the greatest show on earth. Dancing tigers, juggling gorillas, the funniest clowns in the entire universe. Come to the circus today. Teddy, no. Try stopping me. You make me so cross. What happened to, we're supposed to be looking for our home? I've never been to a circus. It's not safe here. Of course it is. <gasps> Help! That's great! Yeah, looks like he fancies you. I'm sure he's better company than you are. Where do we go in? You tell me. Oh, I'm 
I'm stuck. <laughs> Serves you right. Help me. Uh, ooh. Ah, it, ooh. Is this some new contortionist act? Or are you clowns? No, we want to be in the audience. Toys aren't allowed in without children. We've lost our children. And we're supposed to be looking for them. Couldn't you let us in? Oh, all right. Follow me. Do you work for the circus? Do I work for the circus? <laughs> I'm Mr Big. I'm in charge round here. This way. This is the business. Best seats and free food. Sit down, sit down. It's the clowns now. Clowns. They're my favourite. <laughs> I'll tell them you're here. <laughs> 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 You're supposed to laugh. Why? Clowns, they're funny. Hilarious. Dolls. <laughs> that was funny. <gasps> Teddy, look at you. Plans to do that to Teddy. No! But you're in charge round here. Well, yes. It's out! Help! Help! Pete's out! Get me down! You're lucky I got to it before the tiger did. Come on, we're leaving. Suits me. I hate services. Can't understand why people come here. <gasps> What's funny about shooting me out of a cannon? Did you laugh? Big Tails, I thought we were going. Thank you, it's lovely. Pig Tails! How come you never give me flowers? We're going. All right. It's been lovely meeting you, but I'll have to say goodbye now. You my toy now? No, I'm sorry. I belong to someone else. No, you belong to me. Oi, you, here he ends. Let Annie go. Huh? You stay with me? I can't. I have to go home to my own children. Maybe when I've found them, we can come back and see you. No, you stay with me. Rescuing me! It come back! Oh, sorry. You let the gorilla out! It's bad the gorilla getting out, is it? Of course it is! It's dangerous! Look! He's got pigtails! We've got to save her! Come on! What's the matter with you? She's up in the roof. What's he doing with that swing? It's a trapeze. No one can get him up there. Oh, no. Help. Please, let me go. No. I like you. You my toy now. What do we do? I don't know. I thought you were in charge round here. No, I'm not. Nobody ever takes any notice of me. 
tip here. Now you tell me. Well, I'd still like to help. Come on, then. Off on my head. Where are we going? Teddy, help! Up. Oh, oh, don't look down! Here we are. You ever seen the amazing flying Teddy? No! Watch. Geronimo! Teddy! I'll be back! Thank you. I enjoyed that. What are they doing? They're going to shoot the gorilla. They can't. That's what they do when an animal escapes. And they won't be firing teddies this time. We've got to help him. No, we don't. Yes, we do. I'm going back. No. My toy. Not my toys. Don't! Do you want me to be your toy? Yes. Then you've got to do what I tell you. Those clowns are going to shoot you unless we get <laughs> out quick. Can you climb right to the top of the tent? Easy. Let's go. Are we going to get you out of the circus? I don't know. I do. Come on, pigtails. What's the matter with you? You should get away. Look at the hole. What do you mean to me? It's all clear. That means you don't peel bananas with your toes, right? Right? No, I no. Are you going to miss the circus? No! Not now I've got my own wild life park to run. I'd better get started. You do that. How did you find out about this place? I read about it. It's nice here. The gorilla likes it. Ah. Oh. He's gone off you. You've got to admit she's better looking. Watch out. Clowns! Help! Oh, very funny. Toys. It's getting closer. Oh no! <gasps> Quick, in here! Oh no! Oh! Teddy, no! Big Tails! Has Jimbo found a teddy weddy? 
He's not Jimbo's teddy, is he? Oh, let's put him back. Oh, that was close. But Jimbo's so upset about losing Humphrey, Daddy. We don't want our Jimbo Wimbo to cry, do we, Mummy? Let's give this teddy a nice new home. Yes, let's. But he's a grubby, wubby teddy weddy. We'll have to give him a big bath, won't we? Ah! There's nappies in here. Pigtails, get me out. Poor Teddy. <laughs> babies. I hate babies. Teddy, are you all right? Do I look all right? Get me down. Uh, hang on. You trying to be funny? I don't know how I can reach you. Maybe if I climb up. Hurry up. It's nearly tea time. You know what that means? I'm coming. Tea time for Jimbo's new teddy. Oh, no! <coughs> Ooh. Leave that out. <coughs> it's Jimbo's favourite. Sprouty Wouties. One for Jimbo. And one for Teddy. <coughs> oh! <coughs> Did Jimbo drop Teddy on the floor? Here we are. Oh, it's a game. Jimbo's playing drop Teddy on the floor. Big Tails! Teddy, don't jump! You gotta get me out of here! I can't. The people never leave the baby on his own. <sighs> Say night night to Jimbo, Daddy. Night night, Jimbo. I've got to get out of here. Help! What's that? Jimbo. Oh, ow! It was just Teddy. What do you mean, just Teddy? That hurt! About time, too. Where have you been? Shh! Can you climb out? I'm not doing that again. I know. Come on. Quiet. <coughs> Run! <laughs> oh, let's go. It doesn't seem right. The baby's so upset. Not half as upset as I was when he was stuffing sprouts up my nose. Toys are meant to make children happy, not make them cry. So? We can't leave him like that. I'm not going back in there. What if I went and found the teddy bear he lost and brought him back? No. It wouldn't be for long. I'm not doing it. No, you're quite right. He'll get over losing his teddy sooner or later. You better be quick. I will. I've had enough of this. Listen, if I'm staying here with you, things are going to change. For a start, you can learn my name. Teddy. Teddy. That's right. Teddy. Are we playing Drop Teddy again? <gasps> Daddy, that's right, clever boy. Oh, Mummy, quick! Jimbo's learnt his first word. <coughs> oh, he's saying Daddy. He's saying Teddy. Yeah! Where do they take lost teddies? I'll try the playground. Oi, Jimbo. Listen, and you might learn something. Your mum and dad, they're making you eat sprouts. Are they eating sprouts? No. They've got decent food. See? 
I wouldn't have it if I was you. Dindin's Jimbo. Don't eat it. Make them give you biscuits, crisps, proper food. Yes, my boy. <laughs> it was all going so well. He must be here somewhere. Oh, I wonder. There's got to be something better than this. Watch. Teddy's going to show you some magic. And whisk the eggs until you've got night. Here is tonight's news. Cowboys. That's more like it. Remember, you don't have to watch the stuff they like. Jimbo, what happened to your favourite disc program? <laughs> That's right. There you are. Nice shooting, partner. Stick with me, kid, and you'll learn everything you need to know. Are you Humphrey? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, I am. I'm Annie. I've come to get you out. Oh, oh, good. I'm, I'm awfully worried about my boy. He's got no one to look after him. My friend Teddy's supposed to be doing that. So he's, he's in safe hands? Mm, sort of. Any idea where the key is? On the hook. Oh, right. That's a dog. Bow wow. Very bad. That's a dog. Girls saw it. Loads of trouble, believe me. That's a teddy bear. Yeah, look. It's like me. Except not as handsome. The thing you've got to remember about teddy bears is they're descended from a president of the United States. That, that, you drop me on the floor again, you're in big trouble. It's not just me you're taking on, it's the US Army. Oh! Come on! There's someone coming. <gasps> what do you think you're doing? You can't steal lost property. This is an emergency. Humphrey's a lost teddy. His little boy needs him. Hmm. Well, that's different. Why didn't you say? We didn't get the chance. You should have come to me in the first place. Let's get him out of there and take him home. Oh, oh I do hope my Jimbo's all right. And my teddy. Go on, shove some pants in as well. <laughs> You've got to remember, your mum and dad Stop thinking this is funny after the first few times. The trick is, leave it until you've got a little sister. Then you can do it as often as you like and blame her. <laughs> Thanks for the lift. <laughs> My pleasure. Are you going straight in to see the little fellow? No, we'll have to wait until it gets dark. People get funny if they see toys walking around. I'll be off then. Good luck. There's loads more I can teach you. We can leave it till tomorrow. Teddy. What? Who? It's me. You don't have to stay any longer. I want to stay. You can't. You're not his Teddy. Humphrey is. Who? Me. Is he all right? Yeah, right as rain. Still got a lot to learn. Give me another couple of days. Teddy. He's not your child. No. Come on. Goodbye, Jimbo. <laughs> Is it dinner time yet? It must be. They're in the kitchen, aren't they? Watch. Watch what? <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> I hate sprouts. Good boy. <laughs> Let's go, big tails. My work here is complete.
That's where we should be on a day like this. No, the place we should be is our home. Hanging around here is not going to get us back there. Teddy! I'm going for a swim. You can't. People will see you. I can just fall in, float around a bit. No, you can't. Let's go. What's the problem? You like water, you spend enough time washing in it. That's different. You're scared. I am not. You are, you're chicken. I'd rather be a chicken than a duck, thank you. Come on. Look, she hasn't got anyone to play with. Teddy. I see what's wrong. All the other kids have got toys and she hasn't. Why don't we let her take us in the pool? Teddy, for goodness sake, let's go. Keep your ear on, pigtails. I'm coming. Shame, though, isn't it? Leaving her there with no toys to play with. I'm not discussing it anymore. You sure this is the right way? Yes. It doesn't look like the right way. Teddy, will you stop arguing? Look at that. Our own private pool. I'm looking. And I'm swimming. Geronimo! Teddy! Oh, no! Oil! Get me out! Can't you walk out? You're near the side. I'm stuck! Pigtails! No! What do you mean? I can't swim. I hate water. There's not much water in here. It's sort of a gungy treacle. Yeah, and sprouts! You can't leave me here. I'm not. state you're in. You don't look too clever yourself. You need to find somewhere to wash. You're not scared of water now. One more word and I'll push you back in. Let's try in there. I don't think there's anyone in. Teddy? Sorry. I don't like it. There's something not right here. It could be dangerous. I don't care as long as they've got a bathroom. Let's try upstairs. I'm going to have a look around. I'm going to wash. This is wonderful. Oh, don't mind us. Come use our bath and see if we care. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. We're quite used to being ignored. Me and my friend Teddy, we really need a bath. <laughs> I can see that. Please, can we? No, you'll make a horrible mess. Ah, uh, don't take no notice of a loofah, my dear. You dive in. <laughs> oh, my old shipmate, the duck, says, do you want some bubble bath in there? Thank you. <laughs> it's been ever so long since we had a bath. You don't mind if we join you? There's something funny. 
funny going on here. I wonder what they're up to. Teddy! Come in. This is lovely. Climb in. I can't. Why not? You're not wearing any clothes. It's my clothes that really need washing. Oh, Teddy. What's this? Don't! Well, well. the hatches, it's a tidal wave! that up. And I'd say it's about time you turned the taps off. What would you know, you great overgrown sponge? I'm not a sponge. I'm a loofah. And I'd be grateful if you remembered that. You uncouth, disagreeable and rude rust bucket. Now look what's happened. Teddy, the taps. All right, all right. <sighs> Which way you put in that beak? Get on with it! I'm doing my best! <sighs> it won't budge! Use your weight! You leave my way out of it! <sighs> Ow! Ow! Get me down! <laughs> I told them they couldn't have a bath, but did they listen? <laughs> Sorry isn't enough. The duck enjoyed that, he did. Oh, no. Shipmates. He's going to knock down your house. We've got to get out of here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, the duck says the loof is still inside. You get him. Joke. Come on, I can't swim, remember? Loofa? I'm here! Look what you've done to my lovely house. It's not going to be a lovely house for much longer. Come on. It's ruined, and it's all your fault. Do you want us to leave you there, or what? Teddy, help me. I'm not going. <laughs> it's worse than that, lady. <laughs> Full steam ahead, is it, my hearties? Aye, aye, Captain. Saved us. A lot of good that's going to do us. We've got no home. Join the club. You've got all the answers. Where do we go now? We'll take you there. Will we? Yes. I've had an idea. <laughs> She's coming. Quick, hide. <laughs> he says goodbye. And I says, thank you, me hearties. Well, don't expect me to thank you. Not after the way I've been treated. Take that funny loofah, too. They're all for you. Aren't you going to join them? No. Bad swimming for one day. Let's go. You've changed your tune. I was thinking of you. I'm not the one that's scared of water. No, you're just scared of soap. I'm not scared of anything. Watch out, Sprouts! What? What? Quack, quack. What's that supposed to mean? Your chicken. Hey? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
hate sprouts. Teddy, I want to watch this boat. We haven't got time. How's he going to get it under this bridge, then? I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Nice boat, isn't it? I wouldn't mind a ride on it. No, Teddy. There's plenty of room. He hasn't got any passengers at all. It's a shame. He looks very lonely. Oh, no! What's happening? The bridge is lifting! Oh, no! Pink towels! Help! I'm slipping! Hang on, Teddy. Ah! Oh, no! Sprouts! I hate sprouts! Teddy? Teddy? I've got my boat trip. Teddy, watch out! <laughs> Enough of this. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Help! Teddy? Help! Where are you? Here! Here! Get me down! Get me down. Hang on! Are you trying to be funny? No. I don't know how to reach you. Use the full lift. I can't. You've got to. <sighs> All right. We're safe in here. Teddy. Oh, no. Sorry. We're just going. Oh, that's a shame. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I tell you what. You come and have tea with me, OK? Uh, toys don't eat tea. But we'd love to. No, we wouldn't. Yes, we would. I'm Annie, and this is Teddy. I am the champ. What of? What the... Uh, what, what the champ or what? The dogs! The dogs, yeah. Hey, tell you what. I'll show you my pictures, huh? That's you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. Hey. See that? That was me. The day I started wake, guarding the docks. 
back in them days. I was the best guard dog they'd ever seen down these dogs. What do the hell? <laughs> That's why they call me the champ. <laughs> Nobody go past the champ, you know what I'm saying? Uh, people, uh, dogs, rats. They all tried, but uh, I saw them off. But it's not like that now. They got alarms and little electric beams. That they don't need an old guard dog. Who looks after you? Looks after me? No one. Ah, the warehouse closed down. The people, they all moved out. Yeah, and I'm all that's left from them days. Then you need a new job and a new home. Ah, nobody wants me. They do. You could be a guard dog somewhere else. No, oh, no, I'm too old. Nonsense. You're probably just out of practice. Why not show us the old champ in action? You go and guard that door. Teddy will try and get past you. No, he won't. Have you gone mad, Pig's house? Teddy, we've got to help him. I hate dogs. He won't hurt you. I've heard that before. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, what? Um, let's try something else. Mm, I know. You could be a sniffer dog. You know, track things down for people. Not until that cold of his gets better. It's not a cold, it's just doggy dribble. Mm. He won't hurt you. Have a try. See how you get on. We need to hide something smelly for him to search for. What like? I was thinking of you. I don't smell. Then you better find something that does. Whoa, this is bad. Oh, I know. It's worse than bad. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'll take your word for it. Hide that. <coughs> Champ, come and find what we've hidden. <laughs> Not again. You could try over there. Ah, it's no good. I give up. Oh, let's go. There must be something you could do. Let's think of jobs for dogs. Guard dog? Sniffer dog? Hot dog? Teddy. So far you haven't come up with one helpful suggestion. What about mountain rescue dog? I could have done with one of those this morning. Good idea. We'll try that. Whose idea was this? Yours. It's not safe up here. Don't worry. Champ is coming to rescue you. Uh, I don't think I can do this no more. Yes, you can. Go on, have a go. I don't like this at all. Whatever you do, don't look down. Huh? Uh, help! I'm coming. Teddy, you help too. Wait a minute, he's supposed to be rescuing me. No. Hey, wait, I'm sorry. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. I'm no use at anything. You mustn't say that. It's true. Let Teddy climb over you and we'll help you down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got here. Two toys and a dog? <laughs> Not a bad catch, eh? You're all right, mateys. I'll take care of you. Here, champ, take a turn of the wheel while I tidy the deck. Looks like you found a job and a home. Hey, how come he knows my name? You were a very famous dog. 
You must remember. I thought you said it's written on his collar. Shush. Hey, is this gonna be your new home too? Just until the next port. They get on all right, don't they? A dog is a man's best friend. Well, he's not a bear's best friend. No, I'm your best friend. Who says? I must be. You don't have any other friends, do you? Who'd want to go around with a bear that's always covered in doggy dribble? You mean apart from you? So, I am your best friend. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Am? No. Ah. No. Sprouts. No one else wants it. Oh, got it. Uh. Ow. I'm stuck. What a surprise. Give us a hand then. Oh no, my ribbon. Look at that. <laughs> Right, I'll have that. Why? To buy myself a new ribbon. <sighs> we can't go in there. Why not? Toys don't go shopping. That's gonna change. There's hundreds of people in there. They'll see us. We'll wait until the store closes. Then we'll have the place to ourselves. And how are we supposed to get in when it's closed? I'll show you. Oh. It's not gonna work. Yeah. Quick! Fidgeting. Oh. Oh. I can't help it, it's these folks. Ow. Oh. You had to choose this box, didn't you? Oh, I've had enough of this. I'm getting out. This isn't a shop. No, it's a storeroom. The shop must be this way. Ah, that's more like it. Going up. Going down. Oh, no. Sprouts. Hundreds of them. We won't go anywhere near them. I hate sprouts. I know. What are you doing? Making sure they don't follow me. Teddy, careful. Sprouts, run! No, stop! <clears throat> there aren't any sprouts, but there's going to be a lot of broken china unless you start looking where you're going. Oh, no! <gasps> Careful. <sighs> this is more like it. Teddy goes past one defender. A tackle comes in, but Teddy is too good. He shoots and he... Leave 
leaves very quickly. Why didn't we ever come shopping before? This is great. It's the amazing bouncing Tiddly! <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Serves you right. Oh. Come on, we're looking for ribbon. Oh. 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 Teddy. Mm, those. I should be in hospital. Look at all those toys. We can have a party. Shush, they're asleep. Someone's coming. It's gone. Thanks, boys. department is through there thank you Mama! 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 stop what is it someone's watching us it's a dummy dummy well how was I supposed to know look that's the ribbon I want have you got the money <coughs> I must have dropped it Oh, that means I can't have the ribbon. Well, of course you can. Take it, and we'll go and look for the money. It's not right if I haven't paid for it. But you will pay as soon as we find the money, won't you? Yes. Well, come on, then. <gasps> We've looked everywhere. How about we have a rest? We can't stay too long. Good night, Teddy. Oh, no! Teddy! Wake up! It's daytime! Quick! Hide! Oh, how cute! It's exactly what I had in mind. Teddy! Ow! Oh. Oh, at least I can pay for my ribbon now. I'd better find Teddy first. Where's he gone? It's so fantastic. Simply fantastic. Teddy? Teddy? Are you looking for your friend? Yes, have you seen him? He's in the food department. <laughs> What's wrong? My box got broken. The other toys say I'll never be sold now. Of course you will. All the other dolls find homes, but no one wants me. Of course they will. I know. Why don't I just tidy up your hair a bit? I'll tie it back. There you are. You're beautiful. Thank you. <gasps> oh, no. Teddy! Sprouts. Oh, Teddy. Get me down. I need to get something. This is all your fault. <sighs> I've got to get this right. <clears throat> oh, no. Is that you? It was the only way I could get you down. <gasps> Mamma mia! <laughs> There's 
people coming. Oh, no. We can't get out without being seen. In here, quick. Thank you. <gasps> Hello. What are you doing there? That girl, she bought me. I'm going to a new home, thanks to you. Oh. I've just remembered there's one more thing I have to do. Oi, get your foot off my ear. Sprouts. I hate shops, but most of all, I hate bow ties. Don't! I want that. What for? My pigtails. What do you think? About what? Do I look beautiful now? It'd take more than a bit of ribbon to make you beautiful. I'll need to go back then. I'll get some new clothes, some makeup, a nice hat. No! So, I look all right as I am? Yeah. Oh, I'm afraid all right isn't enough. We'll have to go back. No. You're beautiful. Thank you, Teddy. For a doll. Sprouts.